It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Ha! It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Do you believe it tonight? It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Say, this is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. Say, this is how I fight my battles. This is how. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight it. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. Now, it may look like I'm surrounded. Say, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded. Come on, make that declaration tonight. It may look like. Surround 
It may look like voices. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded. We trust in you, Jesus, tonight. It may look like it may look like I'm surrounded. Lord, we're surrounded by you. It may look like it right now. But I believe I'm surrounded by you. I'm not gonna give up tonight. It may look like your presence fills this place tonight. It may look like one more time, say it may look like But I'm surrounded. Put those hands together. As you clap, you're praising the Lord. As you clap, you're worshiping the Lord. As you clap, you're honoring Him. As you clap, you're applauding Him. You're saying, Father, you are a good God. I'm gonna dance and praise you. For you've been good to me. You've been mighty good to me. I stand in awe of you. I stand to glorify you. I stand to bless your name. I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna dance and praise. Come on, let's go. Come on.
land that is plentiful Where the streams of abundance flow Blessed be your name Everybody sings it Blessed be your name Where the land that is plentiful Where the streams of abundance flow Blessed be your name
for one, I love you. Hallelujah. I will lift up your name. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I will lift up your name. I will name. Would you lift his name tonight? Oh, say, Great Jehovah, you are wonderful.
Blessing. You don't need a song to begin to honor the King of Kings. If the Queen was to walk in here right now, you will be bowing to her. You will be bowing to her. Right now, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is in our midst right here, seated on his throne in his majesty. The Bible tells us that he dwells in the praise of his people. As you've lifted your praise, the King is here. He is seated on his throne. He is here, manifested in his glory. Begin to honor him. Begin to shower worship unto him. Say, Lord, I love you. Lift your voice, somebody. Begin to worship. Begin to worship. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. Our God is worthy. Our God is worthy. Hallelujah. There is none like you. There is none like you, Lord God. We give you the highest praise. We adore you, Lord God. There is none like you, Lord God. Who can compare with you, mighty God? We honor you, Lord, we worship. You are glorious. You are wonderful, you are beautiful. We love you, we love you, we love you. Sing a new song unto the King. He is worthy. Sing a new song unto Him. Say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I adore you. I bless your name. I hail you. I crown you King of kings and Lord of lords. No one like you, Lord. No one compares with you. Almighty God, I worship you. Lord, I worship you. The songwriter puts it this way. When I think of on your goodness and your faithfulness each day I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy <laughs> To receive the kind of love that you give, oh Lord, but I'm grateful for your mercy. Oh yeah, I am grateful for your grace. Yourself, I, I have come to sing the song out in praise. We declare, He always sings it. Oh, Kakas, 
것은 Worship him. You have no rivals, sir. 
your name so we magnify your name oh lord let me shout like you almighty king yes you are the lord you are great 
yes you are holy one you walked upon the sea raised come on lift your voice great Everything written about you, everything written about you. Oh, come on. You are great, Almighty God said. You are great. Yes, you are. Holy one. He's holy, he's holy, he's holy. Oh, yes, you are. written about you is so true it's so plain everything about you so we declare tonight yes, that you are great hey. you are great say Lord uncomparable King to you tonight. 
tonight. I give you my love tonight, oh God. I give you my love tonight, oh God. You are worthy to be praised. Oh, 
blessed most glorious the ancient of days is all my victory I great may be praised most blessed most Lord is the ancient of days. Lord, you are by yourself so mighty and victorious. So thy grace, you are most blessed, most blessed. i 
This is the air we breathe. This is the air we breathe. Your holy presence living in me. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread. Your very word spoken to me.
worship, I worship you, Lord.
so you deserve the glory and the honor Lord we lift say you deserve the glory your holy name.
Amen. Tonight, we are honored once again to have a man we've all come to love and respect. We are ready? Okay. We'll do this on Sunday, okay? We'll do this on Sunday. Amen. A man we've all come to deeply love and respect. A man whose ministry is attested with tangible signs and wonders. You see, here at Trinity Baptist Church, we have a living testimony of the grace of the Lord over his life. Somewhere in about 2014, when he was ministering here, someone had just come to put his offering in the bowl. The Lord just picked that lady out. And that was a time this woman was going through serious chemotherapy. God's word comes, he prophesies to this woman, and, and naturally it was impossible. But here in the church, we have the two prophets born to the glory and the power of the Lord in the name of Jesus. And tonight your miracle is coming. I didn't hear you. I said tonight your miracle is coming. Glory to God. The founder and leader of Potter's House, a ministry that is given to prayer, the word, and the prophetic ministry. A voice for Africa, and for that matter, also a great voice for Ghana. Come on, tonight with the TBC welcome. Shall we put our hands together? We can do better. Glory to God. Taking away my sorrows and now I'm free. I got my parallelia puru. I got my parallelia parao. Because of Jesus, every day na shakara day. Double double heavenly blessings na ima they receive. So it's shouting was good but it was too short can you give the Lord some shout of praise here 
How many of you are ready for a miracle here today? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God forevermore. You have to make sure that you are sitting by the right person. So check it. Ask the person, am I standing by the right person? Uh, tell the person, I don't want you to hinder my breakthrough today. I don't want you to hinder my breakthrough. Tell the person, I'm going to get crazy for Jesus Christ. Because I don't want to go back the same way I came here. Is there anybody that is praying that prayer here this night? I tell you, something is about to happen. The power of God is about to fall. Somebody will never go back the same way you came. Lift up your two hands, open your mouth and pray. Ask the Lord to touch you. Yes, 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 yes. Ask the Lord to touch you. Yes, you must be determined. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, I don't want to go back the same way I came here. Speak to me in the language that I will understand. Pakadiba and Somebody open your mouth and pray. Jesus. Marco Shadabaya. Mama, Mama. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Azudi bi ato sara. Yes, 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 yes. Open your mouth. Two minutes more. Pray. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray with your understanding. Mount Zion we have come to the city of God we have come to the heavenly Jerusalem we are privileged to worship with innumerable company of angels Satan your name is not in the list 
Therefore, stay out of this meeting and this service. Because the scriptures cannot be broken. Lord Jesus, this night do what only you can do. Let somebody never leave here the same way they came here. You shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Therefore, we declare this night that the sick will be healed. The oppressed will go free. Yokes will be destroyed. There will be prophetic direction. I refuse to speak anything of my own. I decrease that you will increase over my life. Anoint these lips of clay. Let your name be glorified. Lord, let your name be glorified. Let the saints be edified. I know the flower faded and the grass withered by your word will abide forever. And the entrance of your word brings light and it gives understanding to the simple. Thank you for what you are about to do. In Jesus' name. Somebody say Amen. You may be seated. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Father, we thank you. How many of you came here with expectation here this night? I told you yesterday that my ability to deliver depends on your expectation sorry your capacity to receive say amen. amen well I we were supposed to do what we are supposed to do hallelujah uh, Dr. David and Bishop you welcome um, I want you to turn to the person on your left and right and tell them that I love you by force tell them hallelujah by force amen Hallelujah. Just in case you were a brother and were assisted by a sister that you have been having dreams, don't take advantage of my uh, prophetic greetings. Hallelujah. Uh, tell somebody I mean it. I love you by force. I love you by force. And tell the person the way you are, I have to love you by force. Some of you are not saying it. As far as I have the microphone, I'm the captain of this aircraft. I say, tell somebody I love you by force. Amen. Restoration. Yesterday I told you, I said that you must you might have lost something to believe God that God will restore it back to you. Hallelujah. I want to take you on another journey that unfamiliar territory this night. How many of you are yesterday? Were you blessed? I want to salute all the great men and women of God that is here. Um, when we are preaching with these all great men of God here, then you are in trouble. I'm already panicking seriously, but God will help me. Hallelujah. Amen. But we need a restoration in our generation. Somebody say restoration. You see, when God spoke just those things prophetically in the book of Joel, he said, I will restore to you the years, not the days, not the weeks, years. And I told you, I said that the canker when were eating and left and the locusts and the caterpillar. So you see, what is coming after you is a satanic arrangement. Hallelujah. Something they stole from your great-grandfather that they stole from your father probably your grandfather, your father, and that is affecting you. Because, you see, the blessing is not just, that is what I'm trying to preach people out of it. In our church, in our ministry in Ghana, you don't fight properties. If your father dies and leave property, you don't litigate on it. If you're in the church, I'll tell you to leave it for them. You don't need it. Hallelujah. You don't need it. All you need is the blessings of the Lord. My grandmother was dying many years ago and I was a very young Christian and he was giving, he was a wife of a, of a king, a chief, whatever. And so he has a lot of lambs and uh, they were trying to give me a land. I told my mother, I don't want it. I told my mother, I don't need a land. My mother said, the tones you are speaking, is it just affecting you? They can say, I don't need it. You must have the picture of your future to get there. Did you hear what I said? Everybody here, you must have the picture of your future. If you don't have your picture, the picture of your future, God cannot work it for you to be there. That's 
what must happen. Hallelujah. Abraham, lift up your eyes. As far as you can see, I've given it to you. How far can you see? So he's talking about the eye of his spirit. I said, I don't need it. I told my mind, and I was very broke. Now, there is a kind of poverty that the poor cause you poor. Let me go to the people here because these people, I don't think you are ready for what I'm preaching. And so, it, it, it didn't make sense then to say you don't want the land because you can even sell it. But I told my mother, I'm going to be so blessed I don't need it. And I'm in the center of what I'm talking about. Are you getting it? This might be about 15, 18 years ago, but I can see it. I can see it. God asked one prophet, what seest thou? So whilst you are sitting here, if you are trusting God to restore your finances, your marriage, whatever you have lost, what are you seeing? I'm going to give you the keys for restoration. I'm going to give it to you. The keys for restoration. Hallelujah. Fact can change, but truth cannot change. Don't forget that one. Fact can change, but truth cannot change. That is why I love the faith message because hmm, fact only rule in the natural fact only ruined and when you go to the hospital and doctor say you have so so, so sickness it's a fact but it's not the truth hallelujah now the backbone of life in the spirit ha, the backbone of life in the spirit is faith the backbone of life in the spirit is what faith the backbone of life in the spirit is faith even though they find out that there's a sickness in your body as far as you are a child of god that sickness is illegal Oh Lord, give me the right people to pray to you today. I declare every sickness in your body is illegal. It's not supposed to be there because somebody has paid the price. Somebody has paid the price. Where was the devil when they were beating the back of Jesus Christ? He was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. And by his stripes... So why are you still carrying the sickness? You say, I have stopped coming to church. Why? Because when I was sick, nobody came to visit me. Who asked you to be sick? <laughs> no. I can tell you that one of the reasons why your blessing is delayed is that you like people to come and sympathize with you. It's the dangerous state you can put yourself in. And those of you in this part of the life, where you love those things, your sympathizers are your enemies. They are your enemies. Because sometimes there is something about enemies eh, that will just tear up something inside you. Without Pina and Ahana could have remained barren for life. So your enemies bring change in your life. Friends bring comfort, but enemies bring change. And friends can make you comfortable in your discomfort. Enemies bring change. I'm going to take you through the loss now. The way you are sitting looking at me, uh, I would, I, I'm supposed to give you five, but I'll give you two. Because you don't look like you deserve five. You are too gentle for me to preach. Hallelujah. I just don't like people who sit very gentle. I just don't like. Where I'm coming from, the people are too radical. Yes. Yes. Now, I heard a story. Papa Deboe went to preach somewhere. And when he finished, he was going to sit in his car. With all these bodyguards around. Huh? That is why I love the Nigerian spirit. I, I, I don't care where you come from, but I'm, I want to tell you that I love the Nigerian spirit. It's very aggressive. Very aggressive. The thing is in their blood. Is it blood or blood? blood. Google it. You will find one of the meanings there. Hallelujah. Now, they, they opened the car for Papa to sit down. A woman was walking around, jump into the car and search where Papa was sitting. The people say, woman, I caught it, 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 I caught it. I caught it. They pull her from the car. He said, I don't care. I caught it, I caught it. Well, Papa said he didn't know what happened. He said, leave her. Then he sat in the car, he left. The next day, next year I came to the church, he was coming to preach. And the pastor said, Papa, there's a major testimony here. A woman came here with triplets. And he said, Papa, you remember when you came, I'm the one who jumped into your car. I've been married for over 18 years without a child. I said, if I can sit where this man sits. Now all the suspects are not clapping for Jesus. No wonder God will not give you a miracle today. Are you getting what I'm talking about? If I can sit where this man sits. No. 80% of the miracle that happened at Jesus' ministry were the people's own faith. Yeah. What are you talking about? That you want your pastor to come to your house, anoint you with oil, zomi, ajongo, kubangwa. What is that? The healing is not in the oil. 
is any sick among you, let him call the elders of the church. Let him pray over him. Anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith, not the oil. Not the oil, the prayer of faith. So, well, Jesus, I feel like preaching, man. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Not the oil, don't be deceived. Don't let anybody sell oil for you that the oil will give you a breakthrough. No, 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 no. When you lift up the oil, it depends on the light you carry. Depends on the light you carry. It's not the oil. It's not the oil. God never said the oil. He said the prayer of faith shall save the sick. The prayer of faith. The prayer of faith. The prayer of faith. The prayer of faith. That is why faith is a powerful force. Wow. Faith is not a philosophy. Faith is not an ideology. Faith is a living force. It's like a tsunami. Nothing can stand in its way. It's like a hurricane. Nothing can stand in its way. Faith, 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 faith. Faith. And the judge shall live by faith. Tell these British people that the judge shall live by faith. Not the doctor's report. Faith is not an ideology. You don't go to Oxford to get faith. You can be a professor and not have faith. Oh, I beg your pardon, but let me go a little deeper. You can be a pastor and not have faith. Moses sent 12 pastors. 12. 12 pastors of their tribe. 10 came with a bad report. 12 pastors. In fact, let me put it to a 12 cardinals. <laughs> Came with a bad report. Say we are nowhere able. They never saw the 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 giants. They never saw it. Many years ago, I was in a hotel in America, and I started talking to. Her. I said, "Lord, you are very merciful, God. Even in a time of judgment in the tabernacle, you have a mercy seat. So when you when, when you make a mistake, it depends on the seat you decide to sit on." That is why when David made a mistake and God gave him three things to choose one, he said, I don't want to fall in the hands of anybody. Let me fall in your hands. Because you are the only one who can show judgment in terms of mercy. Who can show mercy in terms of judgment. I beg your pardon. Now watch this. So I was sitting there and say, Lord, why did you let the people go to the promised land? You should have forgiven them. You are merciful. He said, I'm not the one who stopped them. I said, you stopped them. You didn't let them go. He said, no, 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 God. Go to take your Bible and let's go through it. I didn't stop them. They stopped themselves. I said, oh. What did they tell them? He said, oh, 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 oh. He said, they said they were not able. I said, I know that. I know that. They said they were not able to go there. But you should have not forgiven them and sent them. They said, no, no, no. What did I promise? I said, I, I promised them milk. I promised them honey. And he said, grasshoppers don't drink milk. Ah. They don't eat honey. So when I sent them there, it's a waste of time. He said, check, go and take encyclopedia and check the characteristics of grasshoppers. They don't eat milk. They don't drink milk. They don't eat honey. So I don't need to send them there. So God didn't stop you, it's your mouth. Yeah. Ah. It's not God that stops you, it's your mouth. That sickness you are nurturing is your mouth. You love it, it's your mouth. No, 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 no. It's your mouth. There are some people Jesus didn't lay hands on them. Never. Jesus never lay hands on them. Never. Who touched me? Peter said, What are you talking about? And while she's talking, somebody touch him. He said, these people, they are touching by just fanciness and then trying to just check my dress. But somebody has been connected. Amen. That is why I say faith is not a philosophy. It's a living force. Draw from a living world to produce living proof. Amen. So by it, the elders obtain good report. So faith is a producer of good report. It's a living force and it has a source. The source, the source, the authentic source of faith is God's word. So you can't say you are preaching by faith when you don't have the word. When you hear me say, I cannot be sick, be careful the way you are saying some. Because Satan will contend for it. Right. Every title you give to yourself, you must defend it with the devil. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You must defend the title with the devil. Don't just think you can do what people are doing. When you hear somebody say, I cannot have accident. The devil said, how can you say things like that? You must know the reason why you are saying it. You must understand. You are not going to look for it. You must have something in your spirit that says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. He will give his angels charge over me. They will bear me up in their hands. I will not dash my foot against a stone. A thousand shall fall by my side. Ten thousand at my right hand. When the enemy comes in like a flag, the spirit of the Lord will lift up what a standard. You are not going to look for it. They were in your spirit. The Bible you have 
and you carry has no power until it enter your spirit. Yeah. Yeah. So don't open Psalm 23 and put it under your pillow. <laughs> Satan will take it and slap you and go back. Yes. Because he can quote scriptures. Yeah. I've not even started, you are freezing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. How do I get restoration? Happy. Can be restored. Next year, by this time, you can be a millionaire. Yeah. I say it's possible. It's 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 it's, 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 it's beyond. It, it's possible. God can change your destiny. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. One of the pastors who called me, a father came to me, Stephen, and said, "Daddy, I'm going to rent a place for a church." He told me that course. I said, "Don't rent it." He said, "What do I do?" I said, what are, he said, we bought a plot of land. I said, okay. Go and grade the land. Take the people, they weed the land. And a letter shed. Apata, I don't know the English word. Google it. <laughs> Put apata there, whatever. If you are Sri Lankan, Jamaican, if you Google apata, it will give you the meaning. A letter shed and start worshiping there. He said, daddy, what you are talking? I said, you call me daddy, I'm giving you instruction. <laughs> Children, obey your parents in the law. Get away from my office. I said, go there. Why do you want to go and rent a place? And they created, I said, go and do it. That's what the Lord told me. Go. Go and cut bamboo. Put four there. If you don't have roofing sheet, if you don't have, uh, what do we call it? Uh, 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 is that what you call it? The one they used to roof the building. Is it roofing sheet? Whatever you call it. Use palm palm branches, put it on it. After worshipping, you can get, just make sure you have a lot of palm branches. If this one dry the next week, tell the people in the church, Hosanna, everybody bring palm branches. Let's put it on it. That's what we do there. I'm telling you. One day I will show you the documentary of Porter City today you see. We used to go there and worship and the auditorium was no roof and we were worshipping on one side because the money could roof only one side. And they were worshiping. People were sleeping there. And it was raining. And the rain would fall. And just the flood would bring them. We were there. All I told them is that I rain blocks so that the rain will pass under your. What, once you have two blocks there, you create a gutter under it. The rain will pass. They sleep on top of it. That's it. The pastor said they were reading the place, digging the, the, the place up. A man was driving with a Range Rover. Stop there. He said, What are you people doing here? He said, Church. He said, Ah, church. What, what, what? And what do I do? He said, we are electing a shed. He said, wow. And you have a church. All these people, your members say, oh, I see. Wow. He said, okay, I, 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 I'll be back. Amen. The man went after one hour, came back. And he came there with articulators of wood, this, this. And he said, I can't be passing here and see this church like that. He said, I, 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 how long? It was Monday. He said, we need it by Sunday. We need it by Sunday. And the man said, well, that's enough. Brought his workers and they started building. They started. Raised a block work halfway like this and put the roof on it. The people start worshiping. Now, every time you say you are waiting for God, God is waiting for you. Who came to meet you? God was there before you came. So why should you Wait for him. Do you want to be restored? If I can touch the hem of his garment, if I can do that, I shall be made whole. He has never seen Jesus. He has never contacted him. He went to the saloon and heard two women talking. Let me paraphrase it this way. Where two or three people have gathered, the presence of God is there. Where two women are gathered, Concorsa is present. So gossiping was there. But this was a positive one. Jesus Christ has first degree miracle, second degree miracle, third degree miracle. Somebody was saying, were you there when you raised Jairus' son, servant who died recently? And then and they came and said, don't trouble the master. Your servant is dead. He said, just believe, just believe. He said, oh, that's a first degree miracle. The guy has died in few hours, maybe less than an hour because the procession was their way to Jairus' house and then they told him the guy is dead. 
there. So few hours, maybe few minutes, first degree miracle. And, 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 and Jesus Christ said, just believe. Went there and raised the child up. But there was a small town in Israel called Nain. And if, you, if you're a very good Bible student, the New Testament, and, 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 and the Bible said, the procession and the, and the body was on their way to cemetery. And then Jesus shut the casket. So this one is not a few hours. This might be no less than three days. And the boy who was dead, the widow's only son rose from the dead. Second degree miracle. But you see, these Jewish people said, whatever Jesus would do, they will have something to say. Three days, the boy was not dead. He was in coma. Three days, I mean, the, the, the one in cemetery, they said it was hunger that killed him. He was not really dead. He was hungry. So third degree miracle. In Lazarus case, let me wait for four days. Because the Jewish people believe that after four days, your spirit is gone. Now, listen to me. And the way you are clapping, like you are hungry. Now, listen. Is there anything you are going through that is more than somebody who is dead for four days? The problem is not God. You don't believe. No. You don't believe. Somebody told me, faith, I heard somebody preach, he said, faith is a risk. I said, no, no. Faith is not a risk. It's unbelief that is a risk. Yes. Faith is not a risk. It is unbelief that is a risk. Faith is not a risk. It is unbelief that is a risk. If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in your heart. We build it. We were building a city with 60,000 Ghana cities in our coffers and we we're owing 40. If you value Porter City now, I don't know what I don't know what it is. You see, if you sit here and you watch Porter City on screen, you will not even know what you are watching. No, you will not know what you are watching. We are building a fourth auditorium. Fourth one. Fourth one. That one will seek 30,000. Pillars already coming up, and I've given them one year to finish. Faith. No, God built the whole world in six days, so you know the ten years to build auditorium. Yeah. Success. Yeah. And you must believe it. So, what brings restoration? What the law of absolute dependence on God. We don't have anybody that says, "If you are not dead, this place will not be built." God's glory has been divided. Look at me. Hallelujah. If it's not you, I will not be alive. If it's not you, it's an insult on God. Yeah. Yeah. Our message is to confront you. Mm. It's not comfortable to sit and listen to us. Yeah. We will change your thinking. Amen. We will stretch you. Amen. Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. Papa used to, Papa used to say, when we finish preaching, Bog, I couldn't sleep. He left the four acre land and went to buy 60 acre. Something must stretch you. Because in the kingdom, you don't arrive, you only make progress. So, five years from now, TDC will build another one that is three times bigger than this one. Because we are only making progress. What is the use? No. What's the use of God raising the billionaires? When something like this, you don't arrive in the kingdom, you only make progress. Once you come to the place and start comparing yourself with people, you think you have arrived. No. No. And the success does not determine. It depends. It depends. So I say, he has given to every man according to their several ability. You want to be restored? It cannot be done outside of the life of fasting and prayer. Fasting and prayer. Fasting and prayer. Look at someone say fasting and prayer. You people don't want to hear things like that. Fasting and prayer. The beggars, the McDonald's. We don't. You see, I, one, one person told me in Ghana. I say, ah, Daddy, you are in a spirit <laughs> for declaring the fact because me myself don't have anything in my pocket, so it just go through the system and it's better. And you see, the people fasting, their lives are changing. No. Fasting is the only way you knock out there. There are four appetites everybody has. You have the spiritual appetite, which comes, uh, which has an opponent of three other appetites. The sex appetite, the greed and the covetous appetite. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at the way they are looking at me. Are you getting what I'm talking about? The sex appetite, the food appetite, and greed and covetous appetite. Anytime 
time you are fasting, this appetite begin to shrink. When you stop fasting, they gain ascendancy. Walk in the spirit and you know fulfill the desires of the flesh. For the flesh lasted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. They are contrary one to the other. You won't go to use you at a certain level. It cannot be done without fasting. Hey, get this one. There was no one recorded ministry of Jesus Christ. Not one recorded miracle. There is no one recorded miracle of Jesus until after 40 days and 40 nights fasting. I wrote in one of my book, latest book in fasting, I said that the most scientific statement in the Bible was written by those guys who wrote Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Jesus never fasted 40 days as a God. Never. Never. That is what makes we know that you, a man can fast for 40 days and 40 nights, living only on water. That's what it is. And you will never die. Never die. If you die, Jesus, God will not put it in the Bible. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Because the Bible says, afterward, he was hungry. That is the most scientific statement in the Bible. God never get hungry. If God is hungry, who can feed him? So if Jesus Christ became hungry, then he fasted as a man. I wrote it in a book. It's very easy. Very easy. First three days, hunger leaves you. Next ten days, weakness leaves you. And then when hunger leaves you, you feel stronger than when you started the fasting. Right. And once you can get to 21, you can easily get to 40. That's right. Every addiction can be broken by three days dry fasting. Every addiction. Food addiction, sex addiction, every one of them. It, it just brings up. It shrinks the system. That is the tribe. The type of principality people are dealing with here, without fasting, you can't overcome them. And some of them fasted more than you. Today you regret you didn't come here. You, you came here for prophecy. Prophecy now in our gym. Catch me. Want us to come here and pamper? Do you know the things you are dealing with? Jesus Christ. You drive in Britain. Every territory you get there, God tells you the spirit around. This is Indian gods. This is China gods. This is this God. Different gods in the city. Mm. Territorial demarcation. And this one doesn't cross this one. You can put a church there. My daddy tells you too fast you are eating. That drinks in your bag, in your car. All your cars has cups. They are there. Quick, 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 coffee. Who? Quick, 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 who? You can't handle any man that cannot control his food appetite cannot handle sex appetite. Yeah. No, you can't handle it. Forget about it. In the Garden of Eden, he tested with the food appetite. Right. That's it. He used the mouth and turned the whole world around. That's what it is. If you can't handle, if you can't take off your mouth, you can't take off your waist. Yeah. You are gone. Yeah. You are under trap. No. You see the way your face is looking straight. No, touch somebody, but if he's hot, he's a suspect. Touch somebody, if his temperature is up, drag him to the altar. Let me cast a demon out of the person right now. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. You, can't. you have a wife and a girlfriend. Most of the ladies walking around, they can be in church. Some of them, they are anointed by the devil to destroy marriages. Yes. Don't take everybody sitting in churches of God. And the children of God present themselves and Satan was there. It has no stop. They are trapping pastors, men of God. One small chorister. Just summer saw you in the air. Acrobatic display. By the time you land, we don't know whether you are kung fu or ninja. They will turn you around. Without fasting, you can't stand it. I'm not talking about this TDC choir that you come. Everybody is married. Every time I see them, due to and, and, and I went to preach in a church. Uh, a pastor came somewhere in Washington, Seattle. A pastor came, prophet. I, I, I got these three girls. They're going to take care of you. I said, that, I didn't go with my wife. When they came, they were walking like Lady Gaga. came there. <laughs> I said, Kuzu, 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 Kuzu. Likra tu keteke. Hey! I told the pastor, I said, I don't want to see those girls around here again. I don't want them around anywhere. And if you want them to leave, let them stay away from me. Can be very drastic when they come to anything you try. Listen, Jesus Christ, when you try to come around my anointing, I remember the price I've paid. Yeah. The pain and the tears. Yes. God has given me different revelations. He said, you can't fool around. 
There are things people will do, God will overlook. When you do it, God will deal with you because of your assignment. Some pastors can fornicate and commit adultery and the anointing will grow. You try it. It's called the dealings of God. The kind of assignment you have you can't live just anyhow. Somebody told me, can't you be gentle? I said, no, it's called spiritual boundaries. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, where you, oh, yeah. Jesus, give the Lord a clap of it. You don't cross this. You don't cross it. No, you don't cross this one. You don't cross this one. This is your limit. Hallelujah. This is your limit. Ah, 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 ah. Hallelujah. Mm. I remember when I was seven, nine, still under Papa and Biakofi, my father, my spiritual father. And then one day, uh, Papa told me, Nana, people are trying to see you and say, we need to have time for them because the ministry has brought the people and you must cancel them. They have to get you an office. And Papa is always traveling on a crusade. Sometimes he told me, say, stay at home, take off the church whilst I'm doing evangelism. And he was doing it. And they brought me a secretary. When I went, I saw the skirt. I left the office for him. One year, I never stopped. I said, take it. My wife is here. I asked him. I gave the office to her. He started one year resign. He said, the person I came, he doesn't come. So that, I, when I saw her skirt, I said, this, this boundary, no. I left the office for her. Fuck. I never entered there again. I didn't, I didn't come there. So one year he left. Boundaries. Somebody said boundaries. No, boundaries. You don't, you don't walk around church and play with you. You single guests as if you are not a marriage man. And when your, your, your wife tells you, tell you, you are angry. You are jealous. Why is jealous? No, no. The purpose of marriage is protecting and defense. Put it there. No, nobody must teach you that. Nobody has to teach you that. The foundation of the Lord stands sure. It has a seal. The Lord knows them that are His. Madam, put the phone down and listen to the word. Don't shoot video. Listen, they are shooting. They are all big cameras here. Don't put video on me, please. Hallelujah. Let every man that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. No, are you getting it? In the greater, there are, no, there are no only vessels of gold and of, of silver, but of clay and of wood. It says some to honor and some to dishonor. Which vessel do you want to be? Hey, honor, honor. Walk before me and be perfect. That was the command for Abraham. Be holy because I'm holy. Without purity, you cannot be restored. Kingdom prosperity must be rooted in kingdom purity. That is the only way you can transfer it to one generation to the other. What are you talking about? You listen to what I'm saying. It's not a joke. I told one guy, I said, the symbol of Christianity is not a crown, it's a cross. Who? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Listen. Nobody gets used to fasting. There's nobody who can say, I'm used to fasting. The only time you enjoy fasting is when you are breaking it. Put it on record. No. No. That is why every fasting prayer in the Bible, God answered it. He values it. Every fasting prayer in the Bible, God responded to it. Jesus Christ. Including the wicked adulterous in Nineveh. The prophet said they must die. The most compassionate message in the Bible is Jonah's message. Working in, in 40 days, you are dead. In 40 days, you are dead. What shall we do that you won't die? Die. Can we repent? No, die. Yeah. No, no compassion. And it is one of the greatest revivals in the Bible. The king said, if I see your goat chewing grass, I will make you like one of the goat. Cat, goat, in Quran, all of them were fasting. Google it. They were all fasting. None of them. He said, no animal must eat. And God sat in his throne and looked at that sacrifice. Jesus Christ. When the God was about to destroy Israel, Moses lied on the tabernacle for 40 days and 49. And the Bible said the Lord repented. Amen. Fasting is the greatest expression of the, 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 the spirit of humility. Anytime you are in fasting, you are demonstrating to God how meek you are. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and fast and pray and seek my face, I will hear from heaven. So the way you don't fight is a sign of pride. It means I can make it on my own. No. Fasting makes you put you, it, it, it brings you to the place where, where you just depend on God. Lord, I, 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 we have a saying in, in our place that if God can do it, let no man try. Highest demonstration of humility. Just put yourself in the hands of God. Depending on Him. What a generation we find ourselves in. Oh, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes leave it. Sometimes I tell him, honey, I want to stay these three days for God. I want to pray. I want to pray for the children. Oh, Jesus Christ. I want to seek the face of God for the children. It was the secret of, of Ezra. Give me Ezra chapter 8. Let me read from verse number 21. I've never read any scripture. Give me Ezra chapter 8. Give me the New Living Translation. Ezra chapter 8 and verse number 21. I hope, I hope, I hope you can put it there for me as quick as possible. Because the way you have delayed this man, church, I've sucked you a long time. Hallelujah. Ezra chapter 8 verse 21. Oh, Jesus Christ. Computer, computer computer and 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 ezra 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 chapter 8 verse 21 and thereby the ahava canal i gave orders for all of us to fast i gave orders so that is some of the fasting you declare here it's not you that did it god commanded you to tell the people to fast Amen. i gave orders for all of us to fast and humble ourselves before our god we pray that we will give us he will give us a safe journey Save journey. So 2019 is a journey. That is why that is why we start it with fasting. It's a journey. You can't tell what is ahead. No. One of my friends came from London, was driving, and come and say, Prof, the people don't drive here. And they, somebody give a traffic indicator on the left and tell us, okay, take it easy. In Ghana, you claim your life before you claim your right. If you don't tell you, send your body back to London dead. If you see them giving quick, 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 don't try to swerve. Wait until they branch. Because we can give you right and turn left. It's not because we don't know. It's because we are under, we are, we are under the anointing. That's all. We are in the spirit. Hallelujah. You can't tell. So I told him. Now listen. Tell somebody it's a journey. Oh, is it, is it just, Pastor Musa, is it just the 2019? Huh? Marriage is a journey. Yeah, yeah, it's a journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The day I took this lady to the altar, yeah. we started a journey interesting thing about marriage. It's only school they give you a certificate before you start. You have not written an examination. God says you have passed. You go. The reason is that there is no graduation. So we graduate you from the day you enter. No, there is no graduation. It's a school without graduation. You must enter. The fact that you see people divorcing, that's not me. It's legal. No. No. God says I hate it. I hate it. Marriage is a room with many doors. You see one exit here, one over there, one at the top there. When you enter, go lock the doors and put the key in the seat. Throw the key in the seat. Once you say, I do, go lock all the doors of marriage and throw the key in the seat. Who can go and search a key in the seat? So if you want to come out, because the key cannot be found, you must break it. And once you break the door, it's very difficult to repair. Who can repair God's door? So God said, I hate it. It's a journey. Man of God, without fasting, we can't handle it. Without fasting, we can't handle it. Demons can come into the marriage. They can get too, I, I, I mean, agitated. You work at Dr. Young, you said, my wife, my wife was looking ugly. I didn't want to say, I, I swear, I said, he even wrote in one of his books, he said, he said, I, I said, how did I marry such a woman? And he heard a voice say, pray for five hours. He went to the prayer mountain, pay, 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 pay. He said, I came back and I saw my wife look like an angel. And the Lord says, Satan brought that face. You mm. rest mm. mm. not against flesh and blood. So, the way you think that you have married a wrong woman, it's a satanic voice. It's demonic. You are surrounded by them. There's nothing your wife will do that you'll be satisfied. It comes from your background. The kind of background you come from, without fasting, you cannot conquer. No, the authors in your family are stubborn. They are wicked. They are troublesome. Hey, they don't celebrate anything good. The day you were married, your cousin was angry. Witchcraft. Am I talking to somebody here that will hear me? No. Tell somebody it's a journey. Oh, yeah, it's a journey. Marriage is a journey. Raising children is a journey. Oh, what a generation to raise children. Complicated. Complicated. Your, your child can take a phone and go to where he's not supposed to go. Yeah. Only the Spirit of God can protect them. Yes. Man of God, listen to what he said. Huh? We pray that he will, give, he, will, he will give us a safe journey and protect us. A safe journey in 2019. A safe journey. That is what I told them. I said, every one of them that is part of the Poterian family, make it. Just lock it up in your mind. Till Jesus comes, fast, he'll be part of us. Amen. We fast in a year more than we eat. No. You are not permitted to grow fat. If I see you going beyond a certain size, you are in trouble. 
none of the people around my team is fat. You must slim down. No. Hallelujah. You must slim down. No. If you can't do... <laughs> One day we were in waiting with mommy. That excuse me to say, started vomiting. I told her, I said, it is called mysteries of fasting. It does not mean you should break it. No. When you are fasting, you feel headache. It doesn't mean food is not paracetamol. No. They are, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm preaching. Today, they are not ready to listen to me. Hallelujah. No, 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 no. I told her, I said, hey, you can't break it. You have to continue. Recently, it was on the 14 days dry. I said, you can't break it. I said, all the vomiting are the wanted things in your body. You are going through the toxic process. The fasting detox your system. It is only fasting that your digestive system rests. That is why the first scripture Jesus quoted on earth is that man shall not live by bread alone. That is the first scripture that came out of his mouth. He quoted it from the book of Deuteronomy. Man shall not live by bread alone. So living by bread 365 days is a risk on your body. No. Every church that condemns fasting go through crisis. Until they pick it up. I've seen church collapse because they were preaching against fasting. What God, Jesus Christ. If you want to check your discipline level, stay in a seven days dry fasting. I see. This is what we do there. We are there. Drinking water. Mm-hmm. 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 It's the fastest way to stay healthy. I'm not talking about healing. I'm not talking about healing. I'm not talking about healing. Thank God for healing. Thank God for divine healing. But divine health is better than divine healing. You must be sick to need a doctor. If you don't fall sick at all, you are in divine health. If sickness comes to your body or virus and die, you are in divine nature. It means that whatever couldn't touch you, Jesus cannot touch you. John G. Lake said that this virus cannot touch my body. If you put them in my body, they will die. Revelation. The virus came to his body. They put it under my screws. All of them were dead. Divine nature. How do you get it? As you keep taking the communion by revelation, whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood has eternal life. So the communion change your blood from natural blood to eternal life. It comes by revelation. You understand it. You know why you are taking it. So, what are they talking about? That you can take an injection and inject a little boy. And he said, you have given vaccination for polio. And polio demons cannot touch him. And you think that you believe it. And you go, they give that injection to your son. And you believe that as far as that injection has come, polio cannot touch him. If you think polio injection can do that, what about the blood of Jesus? So, so, so listen, 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 listen. The communion is our vaccine. It's our vaccine. It's our vaccine. We overcome him by the blood of the lamb. They, they were not just taking it in church. Practice taking it at home. Give it to them constantly. Sometimes on the dining hall table, set the bread and break it. It is called bread. As long as it's not broken, he took the bread. When he has given time, he broke it. And he said, this is my body. Between the breaking, something changes in the spirit. These are the keys we should give to them. This is what? Sickness is not for us. It has been paid for. Who forgiven all our iniquities. Who healed all our diseases. I am the Lord that healeth thee. He took our infirmities. He took it. 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 If he took it, I cannot carry it. Without believing it, it will not work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will not work. It's possible. I was preaching Trinity Baptist in Ghana. And this is on record. A lady who has an ulcer. I pick her by word of knowledge. I say, there's a lady who has an ulcer. I say, go and fast three days dry. Oh, Pastor Ruby was there. That you were not there. And then he went and said, I was dying. On the third day, no, you see, it doesn't make God doesn't make sense. God makes faith. Hmm. Hey, British people, hey. learn it. Philosophical, intelligent guys. God doesn't make sense. He makes faith because faith is higher than sense. And the Lord bless those who are clapping. You get double portion to them. What is the sense of telling a 90 years a 90 years woman that you are going to have a child? Does it make sense? What is the sense of telling a 100 year man that your wife is going to conceive? Some people in the Bible when they doubted things and you are trying to deal with them, be careful. Be careful. 
at the time Zachariah was going to go to the temple to go and do his exercise and minister at the temple there there were over 400 and something priests at that time because Aaron's time he was the only priest nobody was his staff teacher. that is why even when they did and spoke against Moses God didn't punish him so he baptized Miriam with leprosy immediately but he didn't touch Aaron because both of them were talking against Moses for marrying that infant woman from Cape Coast hey, hey. remember Moses' wife is from Cape Coast oh. because of the Ethiopian woman at that time Ghana used to be called Ethiopia so he was from Cape Coast and he married her and they were angry this racism started a long time I was telling my friend, racism is not anything. It's just a demon that changes name. What you call racism is tribalism in Africa. It's the same demon. No, there are people still in the church. They will not ask your daughter to marry somebody they come from another tribe. It's the same thing. In Ukraine, you are a suspect. It's all over the place. No, it's all over. It's just a demon. It just changes his name and just color. And just, okay, let me get out of that. Are you getting it? Huh? So, they, they, they said, why do you marry the Ethiopian woman? And God heard it when they were talking. Moses was not there. And the Lord came down in anger. Came down in his anger. This is where we must understand that. Even when you are in a church, eh, you, you may even be preaching better than this papa. But the seat is sitting, you are not sitting on it. Watch this picture. Hmm. <laughs> Do you know that Elijah <laughs> handed over the baton to Elijah? And when you walk with Elijah, he doesn't just give the baton like that. You must cross Gilgal to Jericho and come to Jordan. It's easy to come to Gilgal. You don't, it doesn't cost you anything. Jericho, it doesn't cost you anything. But Jordan, if you don't know semiology, don't try it. What is the guarantee? Because the man's mantle divided the river. But when you are coming, what happens? You need aggression to get impartation. You must mean it that either I get this in or I die. Because, you see, there is a revelation to about Jordan. Jordan is a place of beginnings and endings. Are you getting it? Moses' ministry ended at Jordan. Joshua's ministry began at Jordan. Jesus. Elijah's ministry ended at Jordan. Elijah's ministry began at Jordan. John the Baptist's ministry ended at Jordan. Jesus' ministry began at Jordan. So it's a place of Jesus. And all of them end on the mountain of transgression. So Jordan is a place of beginnings and endings. May you come to your Jordan today when you are taking a mantle from somewhere. Man of God, receive a new anointing. God will give you a property. God will give you a land. There is something in preaching for you. Ah, today is Friday. Sit down and be here. But watch this. Pastor Mosa. Elisha did double portion of the miracle of Elijah. Moses' assignment is that take the people from Egypt and send them to the promised land. He couldn't do it. It was, it was Joshua that did it. In the eyes of the average British, it looked like Elisha is more successful than Elijah. I told my sons, and the little guys that are being raised in my ministry, I tell them, one day we were having a board meeting last week, we were ordaining and doctoring about 37 to 40 pastors and I said, all of you must do greater than I did. My prayer is that you will do, when you had opportunity to build another potter city, you must do twice. Because the works I do shall you do also. And greater works than this shall you do. So if your children don't go more than you did, you are a failure. Watch this. Watch this. And so, it looked like people in Britain would look at it and say, oh, Joshua is a very successful. Is it Joshua or Joshua? Joshua? It depends on which school you attended. Joshua was able to take the people to the promised land. But on the mountain of transfiguration, yeah. God called the fathers. So this man, he's sitting on a chair. You must have a spiritual eyes. I was meditating about something today and I was not too sure whether I'm hearing God or not. And I saw I have missed his call three times. I trembled to call him back. 
And when he picked the phone, he started prophesying. And he said, this is what the Lord told me in my prayer meeting. And that was what I need to hear. Lord, this thing, is it it for me? Because I don't want to do anything you have not sent me. But what I was confused about. Eh, can the prophet become confused? Have you been a prophet before? <laughs> he started speaking the prophetic word. This is where the Lord is taking you. This is what God spoke. And it just brought peace. When I picked the word, I told my family, let's go out. We are free to go out. There is a seat. Preaching better does not mean you have arrived. This thing is grace. The people with big churches in the world, they don't preach fire. you to grasp. That is why Paul didn't tie it to intelligence and law. He was a learned lawyer. But he didn't tie it to that. He said, I am what I am. By the grace of God. His grace is sufficient. Are you sure you can take more? Because I have not started, but I sense you are full. So I am about to descend. Don't wait for somebody to call your name. The Bible is called a sure word of prophecy. Take the authority of God's word. Fasting. The quickest way to arrive at your destination. It helps you to cover the longest distance within the shortest possible time. I told one man of God, I said, if you think fasting is useless, look at Porter City. If you have it, roll it for them to see. Roll it for them to see. Four years, it was a desert. I have a video when I walk on the land. My, my pastor friend, the guys that follow me, one of my, one of the elders in our church, one of my board members, he said, when we went there, I told my wife, how can a man, God use like this, miss the voice of God? <laughs> he said, honey, can a man be tall like this? He said, what has happened? He said, prophet Anna, it's finished. Where he has taken the church, three years of infrastructure, this might even be an old tape. This might be two years ago. Old tape. Infrastructure. Audito this auditorium was built in three months. And there are people there that are my witnesses. Three months. May, June, July. It was completed. Three months. Old auditorium. No, we are in phase two. They don't have a picture of phase two. If you told the give it to me. I told him, I said, if you think fasting is useless, look at this. Fastest way to get to your destination. This is two years ago. If you get the latest one now, everything here almost has been doubled up. This auditorium was built in six months. This one is second auditorium. We are building the biggest one. Prophets who came there and prophesied, I said, people should waste your time building auditoriums. Just build something that you can expand it. So I told them, build it and put glass under it, then we can expand it. I called daddy to come and stand there. When one building was built, I said, daddy, pray. He was standing in the auditorium, lifted his hand and prayed. You need other people's grace to connect to your grace. This kingdom is too rough for you to be independent. What are people's grace? This is an old thing. When we dredge even the river, it is not all part of it. Hallelujah. Take it from the Concordia people and let him continue preaching. I just need to show you. Because I didn't know where daddy got it. This is old. All these places you see now, there are buildings there. Everyone. Three years. We stayed there. 
Fasting and prayer. Seeking the face of God. Fasting and prayer. Jesus is wrong. Master, how do you pop it in the way? Put my puppet back. When the thing was wrong, you didn't come to put the puppet. When the thing I said that you have come to take my puppet, you are confused. Made a, when you go, tell your wife to massage you. Are you married? You need massaging. Somebody say hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. No, it's everywhere. All the protocol people, they can get confused. That's my own. They can go for it. Sometimes they say, they should go and bring Reverend. Reverend is here. You send them 10 opposite way. They are, they are going to bring a ghost. You don't know where they are going. Amen. Tell somebody fasting. fasting. Talking about doing it together. Fasting. Teaching them to fast. Mm-hmm. And doing it. That's the only key for us to live in divine health. You conquer it. You overcome the last appetite. The sex appetite. The greed and the covetous appetite. And the food appetite. <laughs> it just keeps you. And once those ones are going down, the spiritual appetite begins to grow. And revelations come. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Revelation. I got this vision on the lawn. I was, uh, it, was on, it, was on, it was on the 30th day of about 40 days fast. And the Lord came down and said, it's time to build a vision. And he told me, this is the price. And this, I, grace is free, but it's not cheap. Yeah. Yeah. I'm speaking to English people. Yes. So there's a price to pay. God told me, if I, you don't pay price, you'll be arrogant. Fasting helps you stay humble. Everybody come to talk, but you are broken. I have cried before. But that's lie. We have wept. We both auditoriums that were locked up. God will break you. So that when you get there, you will not boast that you did it. That is why I said that nobody should lift his hand and say, We build Potter City. You are dead. The day you say that curse is on you and your family. Nobody. We don't have anybody that can project like that. It is too big for one man to take glory. Don't try it. It's a mystery. We can't understand. We don't know how it happens. We don't have it. If you can tell how you did it, it's not from God. Yeah. 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 Oh, I wish you were shouting to your weak clapping. It will stir the atmosphere for more preaching. It keeps you humble. Yeah. Yes. Don't come to the place and undermine your wife. That stood by you. Don't undermine. Don't undermine your wife that stood by you when you were struggling. Don't. Somebody say fasting. Fasting. (laughs) It's the key for restoration. Joel chapter 1, verse 14. Joel chapter 1, verse 14. You can't take it anymore, so I'm landing. Don't worry. Today we'll pray. Somebody say prayer. Prayer. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It's a key for restoration. That's what we do there. We pray. We pray. Somebody came to our place. Hey, as for here, when we pray, we don't even rest to give prayer topic. No? We don't give prayer topic. It's called Holy Ghost inspired prayer. Likewise, the Spirit also helps our infirmity, our weakness. We don't know what we should pray for as we ought. Romans 8 and 26. And the Spirit Himself make an intercession for us. With groanings, we cannot be altered. He that searches the heart. Know what is in the mind of the spirit. He makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. But before we come to 27, let's go to 27. We're groaning, 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 groaning. So, 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 prayer and praying in tongues is like, it's, it's like driving the sky you call the stick, the gear. Hmm? The Americans call it stick. It starts with first gear. Lika <laughs> Dubai. When you are in first gear, you can do all the acrobatic display and all the nonsense in prayer. Mosha Tukaya, Muncha Tika Kramami, Luka Suta Kapaya, Hokalaba. Have you just bathed the children? Misa Tuka Seye, Lizrika Tuka Paya. We are getting late for church. Oh, today we have to go and Likida first gear. When you change to gear two, Makina Mashodebe, Kiso Hila Basitaya, by Gia Tikaye. That is why your wife came to talk. He said, Mukolo Bokolo, Kolo Sotoko, Reketeke Asuya. Masuye! Hey, phone gear! Pay, 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 pay! Crony, we cannot be on Since you became born again, your tongues are remained coco, coco, bankuta, coco. That is your tongues. It has never changed. No vocabularies. Because you are not engaging the language. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost and you stand there. Coco, coco, coco. 
was a guy in our prayer team. All his tongue was kukaka, kukaka. I say, I told Pastor Matt, I said, drive this guy away from the prayer team. This tongue is not from God. Groaning which cannot be uttered. There is a realm after five hours of prayer. There are tongues you speak. It's not your natural tongue. It's called groaning. Hey, 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 Groanies. That is where the heavens get open for revelation. You hear the voice of God without doubting. It becomes crystal clear. I cannot doubt it. Hey, 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 hey. On the Damascus encounter, everybody saw a light. Only Paul heard a voice. He said, Queen Agrippa, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision. You can't hear God and doubt him. You know the reason your faith is weak? You are not hearing God. No, you are not hearing God. It is an island, so it's very difficult for me to give this demonstration. But if you live in Nigeria, or you live in Ghana, ah, you know the reason why? Man of God, people didn't enter the ark of Noah. <laughs> if you live, it's an island. Britain is an island. Is that correct? Is it an island? So everywhere you have the sea. Huh? So it's difficult. Noah didn't build the ark here. Let's say the ark is in Ghana. Noah was building the ark in Bogatanga. Mm. Nigeria, he was building it up there. That is why people didn't enter. And it took him 100 years to build it. God gave him the word when it was 500. He entered the ark when it was 600. 100 years of ocean liner. Carrying two kinds of everything God created. Do you know why? Because if you build it in Tamahabo, everybody could have jumped inside. Yes. And so the Hebrew writer said, by faith, you know what built the ark? He himself can't have the details. How would this thing get into the sea? And that time it has never rained. Because the water will come and carry it. So one of the trouble about faith is that Pastor Musa, God will not give you the details. No. One day we were flying. Last two years or something, we were flying. And we were coming to, uh, 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 we were going to America. Delta Airlines from Ghana. Six, nine, eight, nine hours you are in America. Another best route, British Airways. You come in the night. Six hours you are in Britain. The next morning you join the flight. Four, five hours, six hours you are in. I had a voice say, go through Dubai. My wife asked me, say, boy, Ghana, Dubai, eight hours. Dubai, America, 14 hours. Is it airplane tour? <laughs> I said, keep quiet. That is what I heard. Go speaks and never give details. So your problem is the way you want details. You are not sophisticated. God must explain himself. I, I don't really understand what you're talking about a lot. Because just say you are saying, it doesn't make sense. Keep on speaking slangs. Keep on speaking slangs on God. Because God doesn't speak slangs, so speak it. Bam! Say, keep quiet. We and the, the children were crying. At that time, this girl, this one, this one was two years old. He was sitting, less than two years, one year. Daddy! Tell the pilot to stop. We have to get there. I'm tired. Hey! I said, okay, I'm going to tell the pilot. I went there. Then I went there. I would just go there, stand there. I said, sleep. The pilot will stop very soon. Then you cry. Hey, hey, let's okay. Because it was a long flight. I was in the place. I said, Lord, what's going on here? We got to America. We were coming back. And there was a volcano on Iceland. You remember that story? They ground every aircraft in Europe. I saw men of God stranded at Kennedy, all the American airport. Nobody can come. The only way to come back is Middle East. Don't say this is the reason why I say come to Dubai. Ah. Bishop, you don't have to know God as Alpha. You must know Him as. Those who say Omega, God bless you for saying it. You must not know Him as Alpha. He knows the end from the beginning. This is one thing about God and love. He never starts anything until He finishes. When I saw the frustration of people at the place, I saw Reverend, so I saw Reverend Simmons at there. I wish I could change. They said, no, you can't. I wish, and they were there. One of them have have been here for three days. People were stranded. People were collecting people's bags because people's things that they are waiting for, wedding gowns. We have to come through the Middle East. You know why you have not started the vision God gives you? You want details. Details. Mm -hmm. 
God said, go and buy this property. You want details. Eh? Then you use your eye and you use some. Right? It will be. It. Listen to me. If you come through Ghana, you come to Porter City. It doesn't make sense. Come and put a church here. No. Forget about even building the church. How will people come? Yeah. No problem. The traffic condition there is the worst. Mm. They are not doing the motorway. Jesus Christ. We still have crowds outside. It makes sense. You know why you are not obeying God? You are not sent. Now you have changed the system. You are trying to call yourself. And so, God's idea doesn't make sense again. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That is why you can pledge in church and not pay. That is why you can do it. You see, when you are not fasting, the fear of God leaves you. You don't even know the dangers of coming to take something from the altar and keeping it in your house. Mm. Mm. The Bible says it's a food that pledges and no pay. Yes. No, so God can give you a title. Because anytime you vow and you pay, the day you pay, your blessing begins. Yeah. That's why Hannah carried baby Samuel and sent it to Eli. He said, the day I came to pray, you said I was drunk with appeal. It's not a petition. This is what I came to pray for. This is the boy. He handed the boy over. Not that you have some behind. You have never given birth to the second one. But you pledge and you told God, give me a male child and I'll give him to you. So the reason why we are short of men of God is that women have not dedicated their sons to God. They should hand them over to God. Mm -hmm. Lord, this pregnancy I'm carrying is your prophet. My mother gave me to God. I didn't know about that. He gave me to God. He was he, he he has finished giving birth. A man came there and said, This child give him to God. Firstborn. My mother gave me to God. And once you hand it over to God, God will come for it. He become an outstanding prophet that none of his words fall on the ground. He stood the first two kings of Israel. Samuel's voice is God's voice. And it was a mother that gave him. Without Samuel, what would have happened to the prophetic ministry? Because Eli's children have backslided. Mm. Mm. Don't undermine your calling. Every calling of God is a high calling. Amen. It has not taken daddy one day to come to where he is. It will not take you one day to come to where you are. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Start from somewhere and keep building up. Consistency, persistency, commitment. Hey, the law of hardiness on yourself. Jesus Christ. It is another law that brings restoration. You are not giving your body a rest until it yields to God's vision. Jesus Christ. Fasting and prayer. Seeking the face of God. Getting out of your comfort zone. Woe unto them that at ease in Zion. That is not the generation where we find ourselves in. Hallelujah. If your children are going wayward and the devil is entering your house, that is not a time for you to sit down with, with McDonald's and with uh, fried chicken and with all those things. That is not the time. 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 Oh, the beginning of the year. She has to... I, am, I was in Portis and I'm fasting there with all the guys. Many people are there. But you must live there, go home, take care of the children, and keep going and coming. He has to go and come. That is, that's your ministry. Yeah. You must fulfill your ministry now. I'm also doing my ministry. Yeah. Do your own. <laughs> I told her, I said, you have four children. I'm the firstborn. Now come second. Two, two, two guys who doesn't understand anything first. And two ladies. Me alone, I'm more than 10 sons. So I say, you are taking care of all of us. And that's your ministry. I say, don't worry yourself about trying to go and preach. This ministry alone is heavy. Me alone. If I'm only your church member, it's a lot of burden. No. So, a lot of pastors' wives must understand that God didn't call you just to come to the pulpit and preach. No. The reason this great man of God is sitting here because of the way this mommy has taken care of her. I can't finish preaching and go back home and be frustrated. I preach too much. Too much. That finished at 21 days. Sunday, I finished preaching. I finished preaching 1 o'clock. By 3 o'clock, I was in a play. I'm ready. Jumping back to Britain. No. I can't. I need an atmosphere of peace. Thank God, I never get a woman that give me trouble. 
If he gets angry, he doesn't talk. She will never, I've never seen her lift her finger on me once. She will never talk. And me, I can talk. One day I was angry and I was talking. Was she was saying, How can you sleep? I am angry and you are asleep. Wake up. You can't sleep. I said, Okay. Sit down and let's talk. I'm talking. Talk. She won't talk. I talk. Uh, the Lord told me, say, Boy, you are a very foolish boy. You. Can't you learn a lesson small? I told, I learned something from my wife. The Bible says, A fool, even if he keep quiet, is considered wise. I told the one that say the trap of talkativeness can never trap you. She will never talk. So you can't tell. You can only see he's quiet just to determine maybe he's not happy. But to open his mouth, she won't talk. Yes. She will never no. No. She will never open. She has never shouted on me and said something, reply. No. She won't. No. Hey. Those of you who are eyeing the young men of God that are coming, marry a pastor is a calling. I want to preach at the university. One foolish girl came today that prophet, I really wanted to pray for me. I said, oh, I see. What kind of prayer? I, said, I wanted to pray for me so that I'll marry a pastor. I said, oh, wow. This is not a very common prayer topic we get. I said, so I said, oh, very good. I may have to down there. I said, no, let me check. Why do you want to marry a pastor? I said, oh, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Praise God. He said, nothing really excites me. Like a pastor is going to preach. And he said, can you welcome my wife? And the woman woke up and wave his hand. <laughs> that is why I started saying he's a fool. Now you understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> the spirit of slapping came upon me. And I said, Lord, can I try this thing? Hey. <laughs> so you can be sitting there and you see mommy's coming there holding his bag and you feel, oh, Lord, that bag holding. You can hire somebody to be holding your bag, following you. Everybody can do that. No, it's bigger than that. The greatest side of you is the thing you do, nobody sees it. Yeah. Do you know what happened to us? Marrying a pastor is not a puppet. I have a life after the anointing. If you are not called, you will destroy the ministry until God comes after you. God will pursue you when God anoint people. He becomes possessive of them. He forgets who is a wife and a husband and a son. Look at God. He said, Oh, Miriam that stood at the river and told the king's daughter that I have a woman. That can take care of this boy and want to call his mother. That they pay Moses' mother to take care of his son from Bakaham Palace. Where did you drink milk from? Somebody drinking milk from the palace. Do you can you imagine the convoy of provision that is coming to the house? God can do anything. When Miriam became familiar with anointing and start talking, God came down his neck and said. Yeah, 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 I understand that I profess among you. I know that. But I speak to them through dreams and vision. But my servant Moses, not your junior brother. Mm. Mm. If you are not clapping, you are not a Christian. My servant Moses, not your husband. So those of you who are married this man, be careful. Be careful. God has called them. He doesn't care what kind of relationship you have with them. His anointing is upon them. If you don't have the wisdom and the insight and understanding, you set yourself up. I checked the Bible. I said, why didn't you punish Ero? He said, his punishment is coming. No. When he was enlisting the heroes of faith, he didn't add his name. If there was anybody's name who should come to the heroes of faith, he should be the first high priest. Even Rahab's name is there. Where is Aaron's name? He said, that is his punishment for speaking against Moses. Wow. Cannot be remembered. You must have insight. That's something only God has to tell you. You can't read the Bible and understand. You must hear from God direct. And they said, Lord, how did this thing happen? He said, this is the reason. I don't really understand the things you are talking about. How do you want me to talk about it? So God call people, you have to be careful. You have to be careful the way you handle them. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to walk around anointing. 
It's not easy to walk around anointing. Those of you serving around anointing, there is a reason for that. God can bless your generations for doing that. He can bless your children for just serving a pastor carrying his Bible. And that when I came and I see all the guys serving around daddy, I said, do they know the privilege? Do they understand? Or they are just doing it for sure? God will look at that situation and save your children. Go to look at that and preserve your marriage. Preserve your health. Just because you hang around the oil. Hang around. Go, go, go there. That is why the people who understand it, they do it with passion. Hmm. 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 And sometimes, Bishop, there are five crowns in the Bible. I don't want to preach about it now. Crown of righteousness. Let me not go there. But some people in the Bible, some people on the day of accountability, mm. they will even get bigger crowns than the pastors they serve. Mm. Because they did it wholeheartedly. Mm. Okay. I don't want to misquote his name and I don't want to win. But one of the old revivalists, he had a vision. I don't know. Which one was that? Huh? E.M. Moody. D.M. Moody. Yes, I think so. Who said that? You are a good woman. Are you married? If I, your husband is a pastor. Oh, where is he? Such a maybe a portarian. Oh, I can know. I can see that. Yeah. Women like this, they should have married pastors. <laughs> These business guys went to grab them. It's in their gift. D.L. Moody said he had a vision, vivid vision. And so Jesus was giving crowns to his church members. He shared the crown and I left it two big crowns down. There was a bigger one and there was next to the bigger one. And you know, he's a bishop, so he can just walk in around know that who else is going to take it there. So he left with two people. Huh? He's calling and the next two crowns, you know that the last one is for him. Then Jesus called him for the last but one. And Jesus was up. So who else in this church is going to get a bigger one? In a vision. And he gave him there. Next to the big one. So he, he couldn't even move. He was waiting. And then Jesus called his house boy. Mm. And gave him the bigger crown. Whoa. In a vision. Mm. So he said. After the vision. That he was so glad that he peeped at the back of the window. To see the boy's cottage. To see this guy getting. And he was just getting ready to go to church on Sunday. And the guy was polishing his shoe. Or so for slide. Jesus Christ. The guy will polish the shoe, put the shoe on his wall and watch it. <laughs> and take it. Put it there. I on the dress. And then I'm be doing the thing like passing. And Jesus said, This is a racing. He has fulfilled his ministry better than you. Nah. Mm. Every calling of God is a high calling. The people that are taking care of this auditorium, people that are vacuum cleaning it, mm. people that are serving pastors, they may be serving water. Eh? You are not doing it for show. No, no, we are not doing it when the Father is there. You are doing it for Jesus Christ, not for the church, not for the pastor. So whether he's there or not, you are doing it passionately. There's a lot of eye service in the church. So it doesn't come with any blessings. It doesn't come with any favor. When daddy is there, they pretend they are hard working. Let him step out to Ghana and let's see whether they are working hard. That's not what we are talking about. The ones are, whether you are there or you are not there, Jesus Christ, passionately. May the Lord give us grace. May we not take our service for granted. Let there be a release of the anointing of everybody's life. You will not mix the calling of God over your life. Every calling of God is a high calling. If you are sweeping the church, the instrumentalist, the one playing the keyboard, you shall serve the Lord your God. He will bless your bread and your water. Service in the kingdom. Kingdom service. The architect, importers, Paka. He used to be one of my sons, Albert, and he has to come to full time. So he's just there as giving uh, advice and then selling his idea by architect. I say, you are not going to be paid and we don't pay him. We've never paid him for over two years. Just work, sacrifice. He came to me and said, Daddy, I want to do it. And he just said, he was sitting, first one, he was sitting in Portis when somebody used his name and filled a form for a bigger contract with Bank of Ghana. 
He came and showed me the thing. I said, he told me, he said, Daddy, I don't want to get a contract. The second one was mind-blowing. He was there. He got a call from the Niger government. Niger. He said, bring your proposal. We have heard about you. Up to today, he doesn't know who tell the Niger government. And they bought a ticket for him to come to Niger. And the man said, I want to develop certain estate here. And I want to give the contract to you. Yes. Nobody paid him. Nobody. He does it passionately. That is why I'm saying that. There are people in this church. They should just avail themselves for God to use them. They should just join. I called somebody yesterday and I make him a chairman. I said that God is going to raise many people and let them be around your life. Because those are the people God is looking for. So that you advance the cause of the kingdom. Kingdom pillars. We still have Shunammite men and Shunammite women. People that are taking their responsibility as prophets. A time is coming. Men of God shouldn't think of the car they drive because of you. Elisha never think about the food you eat. As he passed by, the Shunammite woman used the word. The King James said, he constrained me, force him. Has a man of God eaten in your house before? Even you, if you come to eat today, and your love is good, and come the next day, and the third day, you start calling your friends and say, today that Prophet Anna came here, and I gave him your love. He has become apostle, and now he is here. If he, oh, why not cry? Oh, why? He cannot just move from this place. He is coming constantly to come in. You will insult us from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. This woman feed Elisha until the oil was dead. He said, guys, call the Shunammite. Something is tearing up. What can be done for this woman? He has taken care of the oil. Jesus put it this way. If you give a prophet a cup of water, that is the lowest. Jesus, all these prophets here, if you give them a cup of water, he said, you get a prophecy word. This is what the word is preaching the church out of. Yeah. We don't take giving to church. Yeah. Oh, it is not enough to have faith in God. You must have faith in the vessel God is using. Yeah. You must have faith in the vessel that God uses. Are you getting what I'm talking about? It is not enough to have faith in God. Believe the Lord your God will be established. But believe his prophet also. And he's connected to your prosperity. Mm. You don't want to hear this. They want to hear what the journalists are preaching. You are sitting in church talking about you won't pay tight. Wait a second until something hits you. Then you know that your money cannot solve any problem. Yeah. I've seen wealthy people, multi-millionaires. What is the name of the guy who has apple? Little cancer. You couldn't overcome it. Yeah, it's not every problem money solves. There is a place God leave, God meet your enemies halfway. You know the testimony the woman was saying yesterday. He said, you give me a prophecy, 2006. And daddy was saying that I didn't even know he was going through chemotherapy. And, he, and I asked him, how old are you? He said he was over 50 years and gave birth to twins. Gave the prophecy. He said, you said that you don't know how God is going to do it. But God did it. I've seen it. <laughs> Sit down. It's your two by four morning. Hallelujah. No? God's children are many. I've seen people buy planes for men of God. Pastor Benny, he was giving a testimony. And, and, and a family who did such oil in Texas bought a plane for him. Use it for crusade. Go out and win souls. So, it's a privilege. Yeah. You are not, you don't have it. Listen, giving to God is not a right. It's a privilege. Yeah. What did you have that you did not receive? God must give you breath to enjoy the money. So sit down in quietness and think about what we are talking about. It, it's connected to your children. It's connected to your children. All the tests you are sitting on, all the puppets and these nice things you see in the auditorium, they were bought with money. Yes. If the devil can hinder the kingdom investors, he has hindered the advancement of the church. Even Jesus couldn't survive without it. Mary Magdalene and Chusa, they ministered to him out of their substance. Preach, preach. So we need her. Hallelujah. May you be one of them. That is the only way God will remember your children. Your children, children. Children, children, children. Some of you, your pictures will never run out of the family. Who has his grandfather's picture? I won't put it in my room. That chief potency and idol worship. I honor him, but his picture will not be in my room. But these people, they will have my picture in their room. I see my pictures on their face, on their phone. Is there? Huh? Mommy and daddy, their pictures are there. When they grow, after I become old and die after 100 years, they will have my, they, my grandchildren will have my picture. Mm. Great-grandchildren will say, this is the man. This is the man. 
This is the man. A name or a Robert cannot be forgotten. Billy Graham cannot be over forgotten. Can anybody come from the generation and not feel proud to connect to Billy Graham? Can somebody come from parties in Britain and not feel proud to be called from the APJ family? Because there is a grandpa who stood there. Something, legacies are there. Serve the Lord. Your worth is not in your title. Your worth is not in your title. It's in your kingdom service. That God look at you and bless generations after you. They will say that this guy supported the kingdom. Don't let us outsmart God. We are not smart. No. He takes the foolish things of the world and use it to confound the wise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You call people that you don't respect. You don't honor. You undermine. You may not like them. But your ways are not my ways. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my thoughts higher than your thoughts. So there is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven. He doesn't think the way you think. He doesn't look at it the way you look at There's somebody sitting by your left. You undermine by his God's next champion. Can I have a shot for somebody that feel like I am? Be careful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me say you this. Amen. So, you get to the fasting and prayer. You pray. You must have an average prayer life. Don't just jump from, the, from bed and get to the office. Spend time with God. Spend time with God. The people in the West, Satan is stealing your prayer life. I told those in America, I say, don't just celebrate that you have a job, that you go to work on Sunday. The devil doesn't mind to pay you $20,000 yeah. yes. and give you a work as long as he cut you from Christ. Yes. It's fine. Yes. Satan knows that money is nothing. Yes. We brought nothing to this world and certainly we take nothing away. Godliness with contentment is great gain. So I love where I am. Envious and jealousy is not in my vocabulary. I appreciate what God can do because life is in faces and men are in sizes. So God can move you from where you are to the next phase. Don't go ahead of God. Don't go ahead of God. Something will crash you on the way. Don't stay behind him. Be by his side. And make sure you are walking with him. The eyes of the Lord is moving to and fro, looking for somebody whose heart is perfect towards him. Is somebody hearing what I'm preaching now? Is somebody hearing? So don't get a job that stops you from coming to church. Because except the Lord build, you will live back. What did we do to build Potter City? Jesus Christ. You will never understand this until you start a project. Construction is capital intensive. We are doing roads. We are doing gutters, asphalts, pavement, blocks, buildings, high rise. Jesus Christ. Zoo. Camels. Animals. We don't buy anything from potters. All our guests, we feed them from our animal farm. Fresh. We, cut, we take a farm. We kill them. Organic. That is it. Organic. What about Hodana? Too much. Ufri Kumasi Ampa. May you down. May you down. All the potatoes are around. No, we don't bring anything from there. We are doing our own water system. We have tested the solar system. Very soon we turn the place to solar system. Everything. All our street lights are going to be solar. We are testing how the solar will work. We are going to do solar garden. Rivers. We have dredged the river. And we are going to put boats and ships on it. Connecting it to the sea. Inspiration. Hearing the voice of God. Absolute dependence on God. The atmosphere is good for prayer. You cannot sleep. Every time somebody is praying, one guy came to stay there for 16 days. He is over 35 years. One day, I wake up mid. I say, now kneel down. If there is a God in heaven that pray, I say, guy, let me tell you something. God will be unfaithful if you know he won't answer prayer and ask you to pray. Mm -hmm. The kind of sacrifice I've seen you here 
God must give you a testimony. In two weeks, a man came from Britain, and a man came from America, married her, and took her to America. Miracle wedding. Prayer changes circumstances and situations. Jesus Christ. Prayer. Prayer. Prayer, Papa. You should say, I love this atmosphere. No matter how depressed you are when you come there and you hear the people pray, your spirit man is lifted. You see people praying, fasting. I caught up. I was in South Korea. I saw people walking like this on the prayer mountain. I said, hey. <laughs> the man, Dr. Troy says, you take me around and say, man of God, when you see them walk like that, it is a fasting not less than 30 days mm-hmm. on water. The Lord say, this is the secret. Look at the way food has decorated you. <laughs> Celebrating food keeps you. People don't fall sick there. I've seen people come to lie in protest. God healed them of HIV. Nobody prayed for them. They have encounters. Jesus Christ. Barrenness that doctors say nothing can happen. God back and they became pregnant. There is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven. If you are prayerless, you are powerless. When you enter the devil's kingdom, the only language he respect he respects is power, not phonetics and British accent. Power, 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 the ability to do. Every object is in a state of rest until external force is applied. You press it to go. You press it to go. It is called cock potese. When the body is wholly or partially immersed in the fruit, it experiences an uptrust, which is equal to the weight of the body. I this principle. So, if you don't react, the devil will take you by surprise. You must stand your ground. Don't just complain. I told one girl, one lady came to me and said, Daddy, my husband, somebody is taking my husband. I said, You? That is why I told one foolish lady. Finish preaching, came to me and say, I said, You are looking good. Say, Yes, man of God. I always want to look good so that no woman will look at me. My husband will not get attracted to any woman. I said, You are a fool. <laughs> I always want to look good. I make sure I'm so cute. I'm maintaining my shape so that my husband will not get attracted to any other woman. And I said, Madam. It's unfortunate the way you are looking good, but you are a fool. <laughs> How can you tell me things like that? I say, eh? you said, wisdom is too high for the fool. I told her, I said, Madam, instead of depending on God to keep your husband, you want to look good. Who told you your beauty makes another woman ugly? Mm. Okay. You see the way wisdom works. Now you get it now. <laughs> Give me one reason why you are not clapping. I will not preach again. I've closed. You think it's easy to preach? I've been preaching for 21 days and jumped into the plane and came here. I told I said, who told you that because you are beautiful, another woman is ugly? I said, you are a fool. No matter how good you are, somebody is always better. That because you are looking beautiful, another woman is looking ugly. I look at your leg. I said, who even told you you are beautiful? Look at your leg. Some woman, when you see their leg and you don't speak in tongues, something will happen to you. You keep doing that. And you are standing there with your leg like a cassava stick. You are saying that you look so beautiful that another woman will look good. You don't have understanding. So when you see a woman come to church and that is a prayer meeting, he say, Kandala Makataya. He say, Lord, protect my family, preserve my husband, preserve my children, protect them. You can do what I can do. We don't know how we are going to solve this problem, but we depend on you. Jehoshaphat said, We have no might against this army. Our eyes are on you. Our eyes are on you. In Britain, your eyes are on who? Your confidence is so much in your job. Speaking, sir, you won't come to prayer meeting. You come to church the time you like. And you think that you will be blessed. 
I have seen people serve God and God blesses them. If it is so, why is the Babylonian suffering? I see people walking in this street. I see them talking. Nobody said they are talking. And today we are coming. We are walking in the mosque. One man is like, <laughs> said, Look. No. There are a lot of mad people here because of the weather. They are wearing jackets. In Ghana, you naked yourself because it's very hot. What are you talking about? The closer you are to God, the easier life is. Yes. He will move you through. Draw near unto me and I will draw near unto you. So you have a responsibility to get to. David say, as the dear panthers for the water brooks my soul. Yes. I am panting after you. I love you. Hey, this boy standing here, I am God greedy. I pursue God. Jesus Christ. I pursue God. No. We don't think about crowd. We can do a meeting with the small people. What the papa used to say, I saw you preaching with small people passionate. I say, Papa, we have seen programs here with crowd outside. There are times with 10 people. Because they'll tell us the police people in charge of protest say no. For security reasons, we have to stop every car from coming inside. And this place is a city. And there are times you have a small group and you pray to them. Because it's not a crowd, you won't preach. You have gone to church waiting for who must come first before you preach. Huh? The people say, Are they not important? Yeah. They are the one God has brought to you. Yes. Preach to them. Yeah. 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 Somebody say prayer. 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 Mm. Huh? Today, when we wake up, Thank God. I've preached in Baptist church. I have the privilege to preach in uh, First Baptist Tema. Now, the artist is one of the oldest Baptists here. Eh? Pastor Kwe. Sakumono. Trinity Baptist. Champion one. Here, the headquarters of all of them. So I know your character. Gentility and intellectualism. Sika funny woman name. Who preach here? I'm going to school. I'm going to school. A baby or trot him is a person now. And now the kingdom suffered violence. And the violence took it by force. Forget about your gentility. Forget about your entire tradition. The people that do know their God call unto me and I will answer thee. I will show you great and mighty things. Can I get some harness here? Can I get some harness here? Can I get some harness here? They'll bring barrenness out. They'll bring poverty out. They'll bring trouble out. So yeah. Radical guys for Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. You are too gentle for God to bless you. Fire. The little money you have, even your tongues has changed. Yeah, let's pray. Look at cuckoos. Zebra circles. What is that? You? We know you. We know where you come from. We know how you started. It's a message of God that has brought you where you are. This boy has no change. From Made in Power, I'm the same. I haven't changed. Where trust you? I, I, the radicality has not changed. You hi, you speak in tongues holding a cup of water. Oh, key robots. The man is keeping too long because I need to go something. Yeah, now what's it? Don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. The people became radical for Jesus Christ. It's not every prayer that avails much. It's the effective, fervent prayer, of a heartfelt prayer. One day when Pentecost Convention Center, before we built Porter City, we prayed. Apostle Wood came to me and said, Nana, the way you people pray here, I remember the way Pentecost started. A rainbow came to sit on the building. We have a video of it. That prayer birthed part of it, birth Porter City. By Paul. Wow. We were in seven days dry fasting. I was there with over 300 people. 
prayer. Four thirty to two in the afternoon. People pray as if they are suspended. You are too gentle. You are behaving as if you don't have issues. Tell somebody I have issues. Tell them. Tell the person. Forget about my hair style. Forget about my lipstick. Tell them I have issues. Tell the person. Somebody almost an issue of blood. What is your issue? So coming down is so important. We don't. We, we, nobody minds anybody. You. People travel from all over the world. From uh, uh, one day we were starting, somebody came from Saudi Arabia. So I watch you online. Saudi Arabia, Qatar. So U.S. and London plenty. They come there. They come there. I am giving the church people the opportunity to buy lands around because I told them when the people come from outside, they have the priority to get a place first. We we'll do our last program. Which one? The three days come. People didn't get a place to sleep. I saw people sleeping in their cars. We have accommodation there that can take maybe close to eight hundred people. Full up. Hotels around. Everybody's building. People are building hotels around. Over there. Nobody has time for you. All the MPs and the, all those who came there, there's no special chair for anybody. The only person who has a special chair in that place is the Holy Ghost. Amen. Nobody has a special chair. Be myself, I'm not sitting down. What are you going to sit down for? I'm lying on the platform, crying. Some of our prayer meetings start at four o'clock in the morning and ends at 12 in the afternoon. We, 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 we don't know the time we close unless the Holy Ghost tells us. We, 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 we don't do meetings time in it. Mm. If the spirit of God takes over, we allow it to go. Mm. Mm. God told me, if you don't make time for me, I won't make time for you. Yeah. Ah, the only way God makes time for you is when you make time for God. Yeah, Every right. revival has also cost the people their time. Man. Read Azusa. People are in church. Yeah, Even yeah. when Jesus preached and turned and, and, and multiply loaves of bread and fish, they stay with Jesus for three days. Yeah. We have become too sophisticated. Yeah. No. Intellectualism. Mm. And we can't solve our problems. Yeah. With all the medical advances, people are still dying. They learn to live by faith. Yeah. Let me tell you this, and this is a prophecy. A time is coming. Eh? Those of you here who are medical doctors, we will need Christian bishops mm. that own their own hospitals. Yeah. Because yeah. the devil will plant doctors that kill people. Mm. Uh. And they will kill Christians. Mm. Mm. One of my daughters was going to do fibroid operation. Fibroid operation, me come into my head. If I try, I can do it. There, there are some surgeries they don't kill people again. No, now they can do surgery talking to you. Yeah. He said, one of them said that. Let's go so that daddy will pray for us before you go. Oh, I don't want to disturb daddy. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't tell anybody went there. And it's, I don't want to tell the religion. I don't want mm. to mention because I'm on air. Mm. When they put you on air, they limit you. Somebody's watching. Huh? Mm. And the man who did the surgery. The religion are, these are religions who are against Christianity. Mm. Mm. He finished the surgery. Nobody knows what happened to the girl. She collapsed and died. Mm. Now, when he died, there are some of the people there say, No, don't take him to much. We want to call daddy to pray. When daddy pray, this girl will rise. Mm. The man said, No, 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 he's dead, he's dead. He said, Take him to much. <laughs> and I see something has come on the man. Push my daughter to the much. Put him in the fridge. I was said the Lord said, he didn't die, they kill her. So, when we preach the faith for healing, believe it. We will need doctors in the church. Yeah. That when we are sick, we walk to them. And they will be operating you speaking in tongues. Yeah. That's in case your faith can arrive. So, um, I can't stop preaching the faith. No, I can't stop preaching it. The just said without faith, it is impossible. You must go to the bishop where the post said. They say you have had brush. I say, I don't have it. I don't say I don't have I can't have it. No, I can't. They told me you have a sickness. As much. I say, can you test a man? If you go to a man, you know where? Pastor Sly, if you go to hospital, they test you for pregnancy. They test you positive for pregnancy. So you Sly, congratulations, you are pregnant. <laughs> And you are worried. You have lost your mind. Yeah. Things are you are mad. You have lost your mind. The way a man cannot be pregnant, I can never be sick. Mm. It's rooted inside. Yeah. Rooted inside. We have accepted it. We are fighting it. He himself took it. 
build your faith to that line. I talk something in Isaiah chapter 58, verse 8. That you shall baptize me into fasting. New Living Translation on NIV. Isaiah chapter 58, from verse 6, it talks about fasting. It caught me up. Every sickness, fasting can crush it. Fasting will eliminate it. The way the kind of thing this body does. Do satire. <laughs> Satan cannot put it inside. There's a demon behind every sickness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you flash the demon, the sickness doesn't have a chance. He has to run away. Jesus is Lord. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 8. People are jokers over there. Much because if a Ghana have sack you, Lord, even the Ghana uh, TBC, they are very fast too. And when you catch the thing like you are there, you people spectacle, spectacle, spectacle. Oh, everybody there has a spectacle. You don't see anything. Isaiah 58 verse 8 put a monitor inside there for them then your salvation will come like the dawn your wounds will NIV version your wounds will quickly heal NIV do you have NIV version there new international version then your light will break forth like a dawn and your healing will quickly appear so Isaiah 58 from verse 6 talks about fasting it's only the fast I've chosen Verse 15 says, when you start fasting, your light will break forth at the dawn. Mm. Your healing will quickly appear. Yeah. Yeah. Except you don't believe the Bible. So every sickness, fasting can flash it. Yeah. You try three days, it doesn't go. Go seven days. It doesn't go. Don't start fasting for 40 days and 49. You kill yourself. You must have done short fasting for long. Huh? The whole time in bathing power, the longest I could fast was seven days. Okay. No? And I did that for over 10 years. My next fasting longest was about 14. So you do you move it from one level to the other. And then your system gets you used to it. Now, those fasting, eh, breaking it is more difficult than doing it. Mm. Because you can finish fasting and have more problems. If you were a Fudian. Because the same temptation that came to Jesus would come to you. Command this stone to become bread. So your appetite will come up and you will eat what you are not supposed to eat. Mm -hmm. so when you do fasting dry don't put solid food in your stomach for instance after every fasting from 21 days to 40 days your stomach and your intestine become like a day old baby and all your digestive system go to break so you can't wake all of them out at once so you must be on liquid for first three days just juice you go gradually and then you don't put liquid so if you takes you 21 days to fast you need 21 days to come to normal eating. Hey, then do your fasting because if that's what you are talking, then I'm not going to do any fasting. If that is all God will kill me, let him kill me. You will enjoy it. It will let you feel good. You will look very strong and very healthy. And the experiences you have, you will not need encouragement to do it in a style. Mm. Yes. I have some guys in Porter say they do 40 days and 40 nights twice in a year. Mm. Bam! One day I told them, I said, don't, don't do it. Don't try it in that again. I say, do it once. And they do it. And you see them very strong walking around. It is what builds a Zusa revival. The kind of things you are dealing with each year, just food in your stomach will not solve it. Some things can never move without fasting. It is not possible. Some marital problems will never be solved until you engage the devil in fasting. Satan fears qualitative fasting. When you engage in a fasting with prayer. So let me, let, let me correct another thing here. Uh, this fasting I'm doing, I'm not able to pray too much. So I think the fasting is useless. No. At a certain level of fasting, if you are not praying, the fasting is, it becomes prayer. Yes, and he didn't say fasting with prayer. I said fasting and prayer. So there is a place you are praying, you are not fasting, but God answer your prayer. So there's a place you are fasting. Even if you are not praying, your fasting is still prayer. The fasting itself is an expression to God as prayer. He didn't say fasting with fasting and this kind does not go forth. Matthew chapter 17 verse 20, I said fasting and prayer. So even if you are fasting and you are not able to pray the way you have to pray, the fasting itself is prayer. But when you add prayer to it, it's a ballistic missile. It flies like something. 
we wouldn't have gone there without it. No, 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 no. When God put you in a place of a lot of seas and marine spirits, you have to engage yourself in fasting. That is why there is immorality in every harbor city. Because of the marine spirits. Every man of God that rises in Kofodia, in Takradi, they will knock you down. Don't try the girls in Tema. When they lift their leg, they are more than ninja. You, by the time they shoot once, you are landed. You need a lot of prayer. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Somebody say fasting and prayer. It makes little children become intelligent. Sharp IQ. So when we are fasting, we make sure the children are fasting. You fast. I tell them, I say, this is what your father has been doing. If you stay in this house, you are under my law. They fast 21 days, they are fasting. They try it. At least, the one you eat, the one you call six to six, it means that you eat every 24 hours. Hmm? The one you are doing. When you eat, 8 o'clock, you eat again, unless the next time, 8 o'clock. Huh? And that fasting must start before 12 midnight. After 12 midnight, when you eat, you have broken the fast. Because 12 midnight, you have entered the next day. This is not trivia. Now you wait at ah, 4.30, then you load yourself with banku, and then you start in the morning. That's what we are talking about. Are you getting what I'm talking about? No, that's what we are talking about. You need discipline to get trained. Fasting is a key. It will put divine health on you. One of my mentors in fasting is Dr. Tena. He was in fasting around 1946. I have his book. And that book is a grand, great grandson gave it to me by divine direction. He was at the age of, I think, 60 or 70. And he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. His gray hair became black. When God just renew and reduce his age. Are you ready to pray? Today, I won't lay hands on anybody until we pray. And pray until the person by your side will ask you, are you a caterpillar? There are prayers and there are prayers. Ah, there is a prayer you pray when you get out there and Satan knocks at your door and look at your face. He says, wrong address and move to the next house. He can't mess up with you. No. He can. He can. Hallelujah. He can. A lady came to Portis to pray. She said, somebody's taking my husband. Somebody's taking my husband. He came to another. I said, daddy, I'll finish a seven days dry fasting. Somebody's taking my husband. The Lord spoke from heaven and I heard it. I said, I command enmity between your husband and his girlfriend. Let there be strife and enmity, hatred. So prophetically, I put hatred between him and his girlfriend. By the time the woman got home, the husband was at home crying. He said, forgive me of everything after. The girlfriend called, he said, if you call me again, I will kill you. <laughs> he ran to you and said, daddy, the thing works. So. He said, now it's my husband, my boss, enmity. I said, no. Put enmity between my boss and the one between me and my boss. I said, I'm not going to put enmity between my boss. Finally, let me tell you this. When you meet a prophet, it's not every time you tell them to pray. People don't understand how to meet them. Say something. One of my daughters there make me call the revelation. He was going to do an interview. He said, Daddy, we are 500. We are choosing two people. I said, Neil, let me say, No, Daddy, don't pray. Ah, pray, I said, Don't pray. I said, So what do you want to say? Say, say something. Don't pray. Ah, you are prayer. Ah, say something. The way you are coming from waiting like that, I don't need your prayer. You have already prayed. Say something. I say, I stood there. I said, Lord, if it's one person you will choose, let it be the one. Okay. He went for the interview. He came back. He said, Daddy, they shortlisted us. We are now three people. They said we should come for interview. When they called the interview, the next day he was the first to go. We finished, and they said, "Well, they said the man told him, he said, we'll still do the interview, but that's what the job is yours." Amen. He started working. Then the moment he started working, after one month, the one who was his boss, hmm, that he was his assistant, was transferred to New York. So they say, "My boss has been transferred." And the money, the CEO said that we are contemplating two people to be in the position. So he came to me and said, "Daddy." Now, another opportunity has come. I say, let's pray. Say, no, daddy, don't pray. Say something. <laughs> Today, may you move the spirit to say something. It will work. When they release the word on you, it cannot make sense. The word that makes a 50 years woman give birth to twins, daddy called the children prophets. Today, may your prophetic word come and change your life. Yes. Prayer, say something. That is the way. The, 
the, the strength of the prophetic is, is, is in its declaration. So when we speak, that is where the power comes. Say something. I told the guy, I say the, the position is already yours. Bam, he went there. The CEO met, met him. He said, I, I have thought about it and I want to give the position to you. He said, let's try you for two months. Let's try you for two months. After that, he came back and he said, that another thing has come. They say they needed national, the whole Ghana. In fact, they say the whole West Africa sub-region, the one that is in charge. That one to we are three people that they have come. This one I'm holding a seat. Say something. <laughs> one word can change your life. Amen. One prophetic word, it can change your life. I say one prophetic word can release healing on your life. It can change your financial stand. It can change your marital stand. That is the way we spoke to barren wombs and they got open in their wombs. We have them plenty. 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 I was preaching for a pastor in Ghana. His nurse in command, associate pastor. They just went to hospital. And the doctor said, it is not possible for you to have a child because you don't even have ovaries. Is that how they call it? Eggs, eggs. He doesn't produce egg. No, is that it? It's not ovulating, eh? Uh -huh, something like that. It doesn't produce anything. I don't know how to say it. Google it, you'll find it. Hallelujah. And then he said, You don't produce any ovary, so you don't have it. You can't have a child. Now, I didn't know the story. I was preaching, eh, and suddenly, sometimes I'll be preaching. I see that suddenly I see a baby boy. I can see the boy lying. This one, I saw the boy lying in the. My wife was there in, in a baby's court. So I turned to the pastor and said, Go and buy baby's court and do it now. I said, leave the church, go and buy baby school. Mm. The guy was standing there. The pastor said, go. <laughs> so he went and, buy, and bought a white baby's coat. The pastor came and said, prof, also, we believe in their prophecy. We see how God, I have to tell you the story. So that if there's any prayer, you will pray. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy has forgotten, but let me remind Daddy. You know, the woman is giving the testimony. I think I gave the prophecy at the old place. I think the way we said it, you see, when a prophet is not refined, now this is a refined prophet too. There was a time I used to say the thing, ga, 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 ga. one day I gave somebody prophecy in bedding power. Papa Robert comes and Nana, take your time, take your time, because this thing, the way you say it, don't say. So I remember when I finished the prophecy, we were in the place that is a, Nana, we, be, we believe in your way. Not that the way you talk very sad, but the woman you prophesy, I don't know, but we will pray, we will pray. <laughs> so the prophetic word, the way we say it, it can be very frightening. No, if you are not bold, you can't walk with God in that anointing. No, 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 no. That is why people tend to go become sorceries and divinators. No, every false prophet used to be a true prophet. When they stop paying the price to stay with God, then they want to mix it with the devil. Because it takes a certain price to stay in the edge. And that not that things so most of them don't learn how to preach. They feel like every time the thing comes, the prophetic is not a button you press. It comes as the spirit wills. For instance, now, I am not in the prophetic, but I can switch in. Then yesterday, I was preaching, and then God switched me in. If I come there, I know it. But every prophet must learn to preach. Isaiah wrote a lot of books. Samuel wrote a lot of books. Jeremiah wrote a lot of books. So a prophet must be able to have the word. Now, how would you even know the thing is God? Because when I'm talking, a lot of voices are in the atmosphere. CNN, BBC, agency, they are all there, including the devil's voice. The only way to discern whether what you are hearing is God is to discern it. Because the exit test of every prophetic word is God's word. So the prophetic word you pick must be in the context of God's word. And if you cannot get a word to judge it, don't release it. And if you can see something about somebody and you don't have power to solve it, then keep quiet. Yes. yes. That's why we are always in fasting and prayer. My interest is not to tell you something is wrong with you. After the revelation comes, it must be dealt with. And now a lot of witches are preaching. So you have to be careful who lay hands on you. Uh -huh. The impartation you are getting is not from God. The fact that they are saying Jesus does not mean the Jesus of Nazareth. Yeah. There are a lot of Jesus in Spain. That's 
Yeah, the Spanish people have their lot of name. So they can say Jesus because nobody can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Ghost, but they don't have the Holy Ghost. So they are mentioning Jesus, but it's not the one. Nobody can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. So the one that says Jesus' name and he carries power is the one that is backed by the Holy Spirit. I'm preaching. I know, I know you don't like it, but I have to tell you. I have cast demons out of people in portes and God showed me that they got it by laying on of hands. The man told me, say, I went to a church after that. I saw myself committing adultery. No. So somebody lay hands on him with the spirit of adultery and transfer it. Because laying out of hands is contact and transmission. It's not a, that's what Paul said, don't lay hands on anybody suddenly. So when somebody has a wrong spirit and lay hands on you, he can transfer things. If your spirit is not strong, you will catch it. The way you can catch a virus, you can catch a demon. So our people shouldn't just be running anywhere. I know the person is a good prophet or a bad prophet. Oh, oh, oh. How do you know the station is a CNN? You don't need any gift to discern your wise voice on the phone. No? 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 If you have been in TBC for years and you are passing somewhere you have not seen that you heard a sound and you hear daddy preach, you can easily say, that this is my father preaching. My sheep know So this is how it works. I so bring a TV, you give it antenna, whatever cable, and start pressing the remote. Every station, every channel will give you a particular station. Mm -hmm. So let's assume there is a TV here with cables, that's how you call it. Yeah. Cable, and then you are tuning CNN, BBC, Sky. You can't tune a particular station like Channel 22 and get two stations. One station will come. Mm -hmm. It keep jumping. Yeah. One of the stations you are tuning, let's take it to the spirit. So this one, Hare Krishna, Demon, Buddha, uh, last, this one, among them is the Holy Spirit. Mm. Hello. Yeah. Now watch this. This is something about the Holy Spirit you must understand. That's why Jesus is expedient for you that I go. When Jesus was alive, where he is is where the power is. So if you want the power, go where Jesus is. But Jesus said that I have to go for another comforter to come. Because I can be in one place at one time. But when he comes, he will be at every place at the same time. So the power is not only in TBC. It's everywhere that people are calling the name of the Lord. Yes. Watch this. Watch this. So, if you have cable, 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 and we all tune in to channel 22, we all get the same station. Yes. True or false? Yes. Good. So, if you have the Holy Ghost, and I have the Holy Ghost, and this one have the Holy Ghost, and this one have the Holy Ghost, and you meet this one, you might not know him. But because it's in your same frequency, you can flow. Yes. Do you know why you go to some place, you sit down and you start getting trouble? And as if you are not comfortable, you don't like the colors in the place. Something is not your, your it means that the person might not be in your frequency. Yes. Only the prophets can teach you what is fake. So you don't need to trouble. You don't need. I, I belong to the school of Gamali. I don't need to tell you this one is a fake or not. Because if it's of God, it will stand. If it's not of God, it will die. That's what it is. But you, in order for you not to be contaminated, you must make sure that you yourself is sharp in the Holy Ghost. Amen. You are walking in his frequency so that you will not be deceived. Thank you. It's a good place to clap for the Lord and add a little shout if you don't mind. We are going to stand up and pray. So that we will not get trapped. Because the end time is becoming very rough. The innocent ones are getting trapped. And don't just look for a miracle. And you don't care you are looking for the miracle. Because if Satan solves your headed problem, he will add hypertension. So it's not a matter of, I just want solution. I'm not going to check the spirit behind it. Because he came to still kill and destroy. He cannot do anything left. The day the devil will do anything good, you cease to be the devil. Yes. He can't do. He can't create. He can only destroy. He can't create. He can only destroy. He cannot create. He can only destroy. So he can steal. He can kill and he can destroy. Today receive the grace to pray. Amen. Do you know what the Lord is telling me now? Whilst you are praying, some of you, the Lord will open your eyes. Amen. 
you catch a revelation. There is something you must see. There is something you must know. One of your prayer points. A hearing ear and a seeing eyes. Picking it in the spirit. Nothing takes you by surprise. You are lying down in your bed and suddenly God open your eyes. I don't need a I don't need any print. Also, I know the picture God showed me at Portes. Everywhere, every building is. I told them to put it there. If it is not, I come back and say, this is not the way it is. Every design, I gave it to them. I designed Portes City. All the rules, I designed. Because I saw it in the spirit. Amen. When Moses was coming down from the mountain, he has a picture of the tabernacle. He couldn't mix the dimensions. He knows everything in details. You can see it and forget it. And I didn't draw it anywhere. Even now when I close my eyes and open it, I can see it in the spirit. Look at it. Look at it. You see this, the way this all is red and straight. When we bought our land there, a man bought the land before us. So because of his land, the main road, daddy, it must curve like this. I told them, I didn't see it curve, I saw it straight. They said, that, okay, if you put it straight, it will go through the man's land. I said, put it there, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. <laughs> the surveyor said, that it is right to bring confusion. I said, no confusion. God showed me the road is not curve, it's straight, so put it there. So we put the grader there, and we dig it straight. The next day we saw the man came there with boys and caca. He came there, hey, who are people, what is it? I didn't talk. He came to put some pegs there. When he left, I said, continue grading. He graded and the people that gave us the land, they are the one who gave it to you. They came to the man and said, listen, even your brand, you have not finished paying. <laughs> you, you have not finished paying. <laughs> Prophet is doing something for God. We are going to fight. Now, there's two things. They say, either we give you another land or we collect the land back. Yeah. Because you, you know, you have, the time we give it to pay, you have, you have, so keep quiet. And they say, the man said, if you come here again, you will see gun. <laughs> and those guys are rough. They came to me and said, Prophet, continue, continue. His land, we have added it to your land. We will give him another land somewhere. The man came back to me and said, Prophet, tell the people because now the way they are doing, they don't even want to give me the land. I said, You came here, queen, queen, queen. The earth is the Lord. The earth is the Lord. I told him, This one is not for me, it's for God. This land was created by somebody. You can't fight God on land. When you see God come to a place, he's collecting your land. Give it to him, don't charge him. Give it to him. Straight. And we built it there. Everybody was shocked. It became straight road because I saw it. There's no intimidation. Once you hear God, don't be afraid. Go ahead and do it. That's why the post said we were starting our Bible school, and I saw a building, and I told them go there. When they went there, it was an allergy. He was sitting in front. Alaji salam alaikum salam alaikum salam. What is it here? He said, Your house, we need it for Bible school. He said, Ah, a church? Take it for you. <laughs> I heard him say it when he was preaching in Ghana. Take it free. Alaji. He said, He became converted and he became an usher. <laughs> God has shown you a property to go and buy. You are sitting there speaking slides. <laughs> Lord, we are really checking and doing uh, feasibility. So keep, keep visibility. Keep it. We didn't mix it. We didn't mix it. No. No. It's not respond. Prompt to respond. It's the sign of your boldness. Facing the devil and not negotiating with him. No. No. They might have intimidated daddy and prevent him from doing this. But the man keep moving. Yeah. You come to me and give me a sign, and now we are working on it. We'll finish it this year. We'll finish that. He's speaking it. He said, We are going to finish. We are going to finish. Are we not sitting inside? Yeah. Faith is not only a great prof confession, it's a great profession. Don't only believe the word, behave the word. Move according to the way God is guiding you. Step out of your comfort zone. Get around people whose grace can rub on you. Yes. No. 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 Richard Roberts told me, the first time I went to Dr. Cho, I went there as a man sent by God and a prophetic direction. But the second day, I went there by favor. Because Richard Rob Dr. Cho is close to Richard Roberts. Dr. Cho's only pastor is Ora Robert. Mm. So it's in the constitution of that church that the Ora Robert will sit on his board till Jesus comes. Mm. Okay. So Richard is there. 
Richard told me, he said, Nana, I will take you there. We can go and sleep in his house. I said, Richard, I want under the bed. No, I don't want the house under the bed. That's what men are going to go to the house. Go under the bed. Then pass it. So I told him. Something shocked me. The board members of Richard Roberts, great men of God. I'm telling you. That day we finished the conference and he said, I want Richard Roberts to lay hands on me. My wife was there. Dr. Cho, Dr. Richard Roberts finished preaching and Dr. Cho knelt down and he laid hands on him. I was shocked. I was sitting down. When Richard finished praying for Dr. Cho, he called me and said, Nana, kneel down at where Dr. Cho kneel down. Let me pray for you. Baby, she move. It was an amazing thing. Amazing thing. Because say, your father told me that the mountain will come upon you. Okay. People are walking in insight. Humble yourself. You don't have it all. That is why that daddy bring people like Papa Deboy to come here and pray for him. Everybody must submit to somebody. I have some brothers. They are my brothers, but I have my the grace on their life. When you get around anointed people, something from them will rub on you. If you are sensitive, you will catch it. It's a virus. It's a virus. If you have a good heart, it will, it will come on you. I can't call them fathers. They are my brothers, but they carry something. So I come around them. I sit with them. I eat with them. So when they visit me in person, I put them in the place where I sleep. Two of my sister, my, my, my sister here, Jenny, and his husband came to visit me at Portes. Is it Jenny? Mommy, is it Jenny? Yeah, Jenny. They, I didn't tell you. I put them in my bedroom. I was praying for them. I said, follow me. And I put them in my bedroom. I said, Lord, the grace on this bed, you let him come upon them. Portes City, where I sleep with my wife? I put them there. Can you bring everybody in your bedroom and pray for them? No. Prophetic action. Prophetic action. I said, sit on my bed. I never to ask them. I put them on my bed. I say, you sit where mommy lie, lie. You sit where I lie. And I lay hands on them. But the other said, I'd be some the whole was about to die. He called me from, I, I tell you, he was in Nigeria enough. He said, David, come to me. I know the way Papa Idahosa talks. He said, when he came, it's like somebody is in Accra, I call you to come to Borga. And he said, so you came. So you came. He said, Papa, you asked me to come. He said, so you came. Go and bath in my bathroom. Bishop. Prophetic inside. He said, I went there. He said, Papa, I, I booked the next room. I also have a bathroom. He said, shut up. Go to my. He said, I entered and fell under the power. He said, voice said, the lion's heart has entered you. Mm. He said, I couldn't do Canaan without it. Yeah. There is a place you are going here. If certain grace is not around you, you can never get there. Today, may you pray prayer. You need it for your business. You need it to raise your children. You need it for your company. Give the Lord a shout if you are here. You need it. My friend, Bismar Takomia, he said, Prof, lay hands on me. Pray for me. Can you do that? Say, pray for me. Pray for me. Daddy, he knows you very well. Bismarck. Yeah, how are you? He said, pray for me. Pray for me. Say this grace. Pray. Ah, Jesus. You are too independent. No. You are too. That company, it can't survive without certain anointing. That ministry, it can't survive without certain anointing. No, 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 no. You need certain grace around. Don't get around wrong people. Get around right people. The grace on their life will rub on you. Something inside you admire something on them. Get close to them. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Get around them. Something will come upon your life. You need it. Not everybody need anointing for preaching. Some of you need it for business. You need it for companies, entrepreneurs. You must get your own law firm. And you win every case until you become popular in Britain. Until every top case you are the one they will call. You must be especially in your hospital field. It is an anointing. It's a grace. The supernatural endowment that comes upon a man to do something beyond the natural.
Jesus said, if you don't believe, believe in, believe the works. You cannot step in Potter City and say God has not called us. No. Bishop James said that anybody that said God has not called us before, he has lost his mind. Where we are coming from, where we have come there, the test we went through before we come there, it has power to knock you down. You, 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 huh? Jesus Christ. The Lord told me, say, the bigger your test, the bigger the breakthrough. The bigger the test, the bigger the testimony. So, you must go. I knew it because of the nature of the test. <laughs> God has given us a property plus a potter city. We bought it $2 million four years ago. How much is it value now? Even Niger government is chasing us to buy. You know, Niger, Burkina Faso, they all take their things from Temaport. So they are all looking for properties and when they take their things, they put it there. And they are negotiating. God said, I don't want you to touch it for people to take that money build portals. We have left it there. It's there. It's there. Only God can take you where you have never been. All the people you are putting your trust in, they have never been there. No. Never. When I was going to build portals, God said, don't tell anybody. Okay. I know you honor your fathers, but don't tell them. Papa, you should say, and if you told me, I could have discouraged you. No. This place. How? Wow. It was one year before they heard it. Okay. One year I was there quiet. Building. If you are going where nobody has ever been there before. So you need to connect to God. You need to connect to what? God. The ministry work. The business. The marriage. Today I want somebody to pray until you hear the voice of God. Stand to your feet. Preach my heart this night. It is Friday. Lift up your two hands. When I look at you people, you're dressing. I don't know what to do. You look too gentle in my face. Pastor Moka, look at your jacket. It's too nice. Look at Kwame Azar's jacket. With some creep here. <laughs> you come to Portes, people are willing to trust you too. <laughs> I want to say Kambu in America, mommy, the way they laugh at me. White people say you. I say Kambu. They say, excuse me, what's that? I say Kambu. They say, please, prophet, what is Kambu? I say, ah, don't you know Kambu? I call somebody, they like, say, oh my God. I say, keep quiet. Where I come from, it's called Kambu. <laughs> Later, somebody told me, I didn't have a friend of Kambu, it's not Kambu, it's Camp Boot. The name itself is Camp Boot, and we make it Kambu, Kambu, Tesca. It's like Tankas, it's Town Council. Tankas. Google it, Google can give you the meaning. Lift up your holy hands. I want to minister to somebody in a very special way. Padusha tika sota, mabresa tu kasa ya, liza vazuye anima tosa, prakudimi atusa ya, liza vazia, rekatu kaso ya. Let the heavens be open. Let somebody's destiny never remain the same. Thou that heareth prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come it. He that speaketh in unknown tongues, speaketh not unto man, but unto God. For no man understandeth him how beat in the spirit. He speaketh mysteries. Call unto me and I will answer thee. I will show you great and mighty things. Open your mouth and call for grace. Greater grace for greater exploits. It cannot be done without you, Lord. Open your mouth. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Let the mountains hear your voice. Hey, yes, there 
there's a stirring in the atmosphere. My Lift up your voice and pray. Open your mouth, pour your heart. Lord, change my story. Let it be. Lord, change my story. Change my story. A miracle. I need a breakthrough. I need a miracle. It is Saturday night. It is Friday night. Pray. Change the story of my family. The God of TBC. The God of Oasis House. Lift up your voice and call upon this name. Let the mountains hear your voice. There is an anointing of prayer all over the auditorium. The spirit of intercession. Lord, those that need properties, those that need families, those that need children, those that need ministry, those that need anointing, greater grace, let the heavens be open. Open heavens. Open heavens. Fresh oil. Azuya Koteke. In all humility, pray. Call on to me and I will answer thee. As soon as Zion travel, it is not an ordinary prayer. As soon as Zion travel, as soon as Zion travel, Boshadia and Dilimi Katoya, Mazuye Kadabaya, Rapasuda Yatosi. I want to hear prayer. And it shall come to pass in that day that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Shall be delivered. There is a corporate anointing. All the great men of God here. We put our anointing together for your breakthrough, for your deliverance, for your rescue. Somebody here must be rescued. Affliction will not arise a second time. Lift up your voice and pray. Affliction will not arise a second time. There is a God in heaven. The outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Lord Jesus, preserve the families in Britain, deliver the families in Britain, protect the families, sustain the families, preserve the businesses, preserve the kingdom work. Lord, fight for your children. Turn every captivity around. Makadia Adiba Sotaya. Reservezea Mokaye Yes, 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 yes. I give you seven minutes more pray. As soon as I own travel, it can be an ordinary prayer, it can be just a romantic prayer, it must be a traveling prayer, a heartfelt prayer. Change my story, Lord. We are praying. Those who took envelope from me, before I continue, minister, take the envelope, hold it in your hand, and begin to walk in the altar and bring it. Come and put it in my hand. Put it in my hand. Yes, Lord. Let your favor. Those thousand pounds, bring them. Thank you, Jesus. Rakasuda Baya. Ayakoda Baya. As a servant of the Lord with grace, I receive it and put it on God's altar on your behalf. That by this seed, may you not lack any finances in this country. You will eat the good of the land. I will anoint you later and pray for you. Lord Jesus, it's okay, leave it. It's okay, leave it. Moshadaba Satire. Makuna Mayato. Bless you, Bishop. Bless you for your seed. The Lord bless your ministry. With a major sacrifice. 
Thank you, Jesus. Makaduya that satire. Yes, 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 yes. Bring all the thousand pounds. Bring them. I call about 60 or 70 people. Thank you, Jesus. Moshaduya Tokesi. Lift your two hands and pray. With your sacrifice on the altar, pray. Yes, Lord. The Lord will remember you. I saw the God that built Potter City. The God of signs and wonders, man of God. Bless you. Moshadiya Tosaya. Krapadunimi Atoya. Greatness will pursue you. Jesus. The Lord will honor you, my dear. Thank you, Holy Ghost. This ministry will never lack anything. Mommy, I have a word for you. I saw you coming. God put a word in my spirit. Make sure you get it before you go. I'm waiting for you. Bring it. Lift your two hands and pray. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Bless you, my dear. Five minutes more, pray. Yes, it's Friday now. We need a prayer. Jesus, Razuna Mayatose. Oh yeah, where is your wife? Are you married? Where is your wife? Masunimi Atusa. Jesus. Kaduya Yaketeke. Mandulimi Katoya. Yes, 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 yes. Glory, glory, glory. Yes. Moshadi Matosaya. Makina Maya Tosia. Oh, Jesus. for so one second and pray Lord my hands are lifted without you I can do nothing Lord Jesus can I get some ushers here I don't want to do this with any kind of you people have to follow me please as I will cut it premature and go and sleep The Lord told me anointing of greatness has come here. Divine ideas, uncommon ideas of prosperity. Something is in the atmosphere. I will pour out to my spirit over all flesh. Your sons and daughters are prophesied. Your old men are she visions. Lord, open my eyes, open your mouth and pray. And see I and a hearing ear. Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Ah. Holy Ghost. Jesus. How many children do you have? Three children. You have three children. Thank you, Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. Two minutes. Open your mouth and pray. Two minutes more, pray. so much.
much for me. Go ahead. They are not giving you my key, so let them sing your key. for me I cannot tell it all listen I don't wait I will let you sing it you people are not ushers so you are just instead of watching the people you are watching me once you take me out of the thing greatness daddy I promise you this God is going to raise for you some millionaires in this church. The Lord told me to tell you, don't be afraid because you must dream again. He said, this is not the destination. You are in your year of legacy. There are some things you alone has anointing to do it. Greatness. The fruit of your womb. You know the grace on your life? You will be 70 years and still look like the way you are looking. Amen. Jesus thanks. Lift this man for me. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. No weapon. No weapon. Amen. Where do you come from? From Ghana. You are Ghanaian. You don't look like a Ghanaian. Your dad is what? Miss race. Mixed. Uh, mixed. Miss race. Mixed. Uh, race. Uh, I'm afraid to say. Miss race. Miss race. Uh, because I see misery. It's not Michelle and Father, bless them. Protect them. Preserve them. I won't waste that because a lot of people swear that in my spirit. So when I release, just catch it and go. You want a child? Come. The lady has our professor. What is your husband? Your husband is at home. Blessed are the women that will, the men that will sleep. Whilst your wife are in church praying. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, but you don't need a child. So who is it for? Did I give your word to somebody? No. I'm going to put a baby in my heart. I thought it's for you. I saw two eggs standing by your side. How many children do you have? You have two. So it's not you. Where were you standing? Where are standing? Let me see something. Let me not give your word to somebody. Jesus. Anybody wants to be any money? There is a lady wearing pink over there. Come to me. Come. It sounds like. It looks like. Yeah. It looks like. Your tears are over. Where's your husband? Your husband is in Canada. Ghana. Ghana. Now, may the word way too swa. Jesus Christ. When are you seeing your husband? You want to go home in June? Don't speak slang, so. June. June is too long. Do you have a child? How many years have you married? Four years. Four years. Yes. I almost give your word to somebody. I don't know you. I've never seen you anywhere in my life. Thank you, Jesus. Next year by this time. Yeah. A boy and a girl. Where was the lady standing? Huh? Not this one, the one there. Two of you will come. I'll pick which one is the one. God is giving children. Amen. Amen. The prophetic starting point. You have a child. This one have a children. Both of you don't have children. Wow, what a visitation. I don't know all of you. Do you know me? No. No. This is your first day of seeing me. You'll be watching me, so you're portraying. Wow. How many people watch me online? Put your hand down. 
How many are Porterians here? Who asked you to come here? I'll pray for you today. Amazing. This is the reason you came to church. It is so. Amen. The same God that's right. The same God of TBC that gave somebody twins. One of you three will carry twins. One. I don't want to point the one for the enemy to attack, but take it. Jesus. Children are gifts from God. The Lord told me some of them when we don't minister to you like this, it will be very difficult. Jesus. How does God pick three people in a, a row? All of you standing at the same time. The enemy fighting your childbirth. Lift this woman for me. What is separating you and your husband? Do you want to come to Ghana? Oh, Jesus. Under the anointing. We have one more prayer point to pray before. Oh, Jesus. Yes, he has taken with the effect of our move into. No. Where are the men? Leave this one for this. 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 Where? Do we have men here? Mama, please stand aside. We are just started. When you get to a certain point, somebody will carry you somewhere. I'm telling you, this is where, Daddy, I was in prophetic invasion. Eh? The anointing, there is a meeting I do in America. Mommy, somebody fly. In the church, I was ministering. Eh? And I and, and landed on my waist. I couldn't minister again. So now when I don't have strong horses, I don't do it. Happened to me in Ghana. Oh, two no ma. In the spirit. Landed at my waist. Angel protected me. So you hold the wrong place. If you hold the right place, I could have. I can, I can, no, 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 I'm finished. <laughs> Google it, you understand. An angel put the breastplate of righteousness into my waist and protected me. My wife was shivering. If you hold my neck, you wouldn't be afraid. But my waist, it started becoming afraid. So I'm not going to push it at all because when I see you, or says, when I get it to a certain point, you can't handle it. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Leave them for me. Mommy, it is. Amen. Today you are going with your breakthrough. Amen. Listen, they will not talk about it again. Amen. Let me warn you when you take a seat, don't open your mouth to tell anybody I'm pregnant. Amen. Don't you? Amen. When you say it, they will come after the child. Because of where you come from. Don't open. When they see you say, why is your stomach becoming big? Tell them it's overeating. Just tell them. Don't open your mouth. Come, sir. Father. Oh, yes. <laughs> Can these bones live? It's a prophesy over there. Yes. Your tears are over. Your tears are over. Today is the last day you are crying. Amen. You will never cry again. The next tears will be tears of joy. Let the almighty God remember you. The God of Sarah. The God of Rebecca. The God of Hannah. The God of Elizabeth. Today he has become your God. For divine grace. Oh yes, it is done. It is done. Leave her. Leave her. Let her lie in front of mommy and daddy. The breakthrough has come. Amen. What the cankerworm ate and left at the locust and the caterpillar. Restoration has come. Amen. I announce to them that this time when you take seed, they cannot abort it. Amen. Lift up your two hands and pray a prayer. So you say, Lord, open my eyes. Now, listen, look at the spirit I saw. I saw a spirit like a vulture. That flew out like this out of the room. I say, Lord, what is it? It's a spirit that makes them dream and forget. Lift your two hands and pray. Deal with that spirit right now. Every good dream in your life. The demon has already run away, but come and force your prophetic insight. From today, God will not speak to you through dream and you will forget. Pray. Jesus. Katusa Tataya. Ube Wose. You will just give birth. Makreneme Atusa. Pray. Anybody that dream, wake up and forget God giving dream. We command the spirit to leave you. Open my eyes. Yeah, 
Now, can you people pick this thing from the altar for me? Those who are in charge, can you pick it so that I don't slip down? Just pick them. Take them out of the altar. Just pick them somewhere. Done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. Now song that come to us oh, the two of you i should be fine you have to become very aggressive in the spirit eh? hmm? you understand that you must be very aggressive i don't even know whether the prophet i'm going to give you your spirit can handle it so let me just pray for you because you are too soft and slow in the spirit are you a student eh? i wish i can tell you everything you came here with a friend or a sister a friend where is he Parents, they are home. You come to church here. You see, does daddy know your parents? You don't know them. Where, they, where are you from? Jamaica. I see. Oh, you look like somebody I prayed for yesterday. Which one is that? Is that the one that God mentioned your sister's name? Is that the sister? You have a lot of favor, come. In such a big meeting, I can't call people twice. You will not mix it. You will not mix it. May you not marry the wrong man. Amen. Never. Amen. I've canceled it in the spirit. Amen. I demand it from your background. Don't touch it. No. Yes. You just have to help you so that it doesn't fall. I don't push it. Don't tap into people's anointing. Thank you, Jesus. You will not make a mistake. You will not fight your mother's battles. Yeah. You will not make the mistake of your mother. Yeah. I separate you from that bloodline. Yeah. Release an anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, preserve these children. The favor on her life today, Pindor. I pray for her. 
Dear Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord. Lift up your two hands. Final prayer. Hmm. I want you to pray for your children, born and unborn children. If you are normally lay hands on your belly and pray, the children that will come from your womb will be blessed. Listen, the next hope of Britain, eh, the hope of this country is on your children, Bishop. They are the one. We have to pray for them. That is why the enemy has targeted them. I won't go into details and tell you the devil has targeted them. But today it will be broken. Amen. When we start praying, some of the children will be loose from that satanic attack. They will not be connected to bad friends. They will not come under negative influence. They were raised in a Christian home. They will take their mantles and begin to run. Lift up your voice and pray for your children. May see their name on this altar. Mention the name of the children and pray for them. Lord, remember my sons and daughters. Every child here that is between 10 years and 18 years, bring them to me here now. Wait, I don't want them to crowd this place. All the children in grow one, continue praying here. Who are from 10 to 19 years, bring them to me here now. Miracle worker. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You are the miracle worker. Father. I put an oil on their life that these ones will not be contaminated. Separation Come from contamination. A miracle. Separation from contamination. Jesus. Miracle work. Please help me. You are the miracle work. Oh, there's one from 10 years. Come on, there's one from 10 years. Come a miracle suppression from contamination Come the spirit on this land a miracle, by this anointing a miracle today. they will receive the baptism of the destiny Holy change out. Jesus you are the destiny changer I bind Come every demonic influence destiny. I bind a every demonic influence today. I saw something Come right now I saw it I can't talk about it because of where I'm standing but Lord separate them from it
there was a child I embraced for a very long time. I told the officers to let them stand, to let them go. You see, when I have to speak into people's life and to let them go, when they leave, the word will leave my spirit. You saw me say the children to stand. There was one boy I put him in my hair and I said, Stand. He drove him away. Listen to your mother, eh? Listen to your mother. Where is your mom? Where is your dad? Your dad is in Germany. That was the last time you saw him. Don't worry. Jesus, God, do something. Wow. You carry a lot of greatness by listening to your mom. Lift her for me. God says the Lord, your tears are over. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. And God will honor you. That it looks like this meeting. Some people have really sacrificed. So that they travel from distances. You see, when you travel two hours in Britain, it's eight hours in Ghana. Listen to your mom. A lot of greatness on your life. You will not be contaminated. Amen. I separate you from every wrong friends. Who is? Who else is in the car? Is it like a van? Is it one car? Is it one car? I don't know how you call it. Where are they? Jesus. Wow. Remember all of them. Father, remember them. Is that your senior brother? That's your senior brother. Oh, okay. Jesus. Are you married? You have a girlfriend? Why? <laughs> Who is this? That's my sister. Thank you. So this is older than you? This is the first? This is the second? And this is the third? This is the fourth. I see. Thank you. That's your, that's your wife. What do you want God to do for you? Two of you, what do you want God to do for you? So all of you are speaking two different things. <laughs> Come and stand here. You need a red carpet. Look at me. Do you have do you have a child? Two children? Yeah. Father, we thank you. Bless them. Your labor will not be in vain. This woman is very aggressive in the spirit. And by her prayer, Madam, God has remembered your family today. Amen. God has remembered. Where do you people live? Redding. Huh? Redding. What? Redding. Redding. Yeah. Where is it? It's outside. Everywhere is outside land. Here, Christ is outside. So. <laughs> huh? Is it far? Yes. Yeah, people have made a lot of sacrifices. They must not go back the same. Mm. Somebody give me a paper. Do you believe the word of the prophet? You have never seen me. I wish you know. Go away, don't tell, don't tell yourself. Give me pen. This action. Sometimes I do all kinds of crazy things and God and it. This is my prophetic signature. Tear it for me. This is your promotion at the office. Thank you. given to you. It has delayed for years. It is in somebody's drawer. Mm. He is refusing to give it to you. I don't know where you work. I saw it. Very clear. Your name is in the drawer and this one in 14 days. Wow. Wow. And you know that you have to be promoted. When, are you, when were you supposed to be promoted? Last year. 
you have to be recommended. They haven't confirmed it yet. Somebody is sitting on it. He just feel you don't deserve it. But God is speaking for you. Amen. The discomfort that will come upon him. I have given you a promotion letter. That is what. I have signed it as a prophet. Nobody can stop it. I don't know you anywhere. I have never seen you in my life. Jesus. Rakasutiki. Yes, madam. I had a bro. What are you looking for? Uh -huh. Why are you here? Bro, no, pray for the kids. You have now arrived. I, I like your hairstyle. Thank you, Jesus. Pakoshita Kapa. Is it first week in November? Did you want to hospital to deliver? Was it a cesarean session? Was they trying to do that? You had a prophet who said that is cancelled. And then it was reversed. Because I saw them pushing the theater and then they pushed the thing back. Now watch this. Is it November? When did you deliver? July. Last year, July. So how old is the child? Nine months now. What is the child? Bring the child. But you don't look at somebody who have delivered you. You have delivered and wearing this long boots like that. <laughs> you have to thank God for this, your mother. Is it your mother-in-law, your mom? Do you know she's very prayerful? He's very aggressive in the spirit. Hey, Uti Chi. Huh? Uti Chi, Pa. You were doing the first thing. You were a potterian. From December. America. Sir? America, I'm a bomb pies as a friend. I'm a friend. Wow. So when you came to sit all your prayers, I should call you. Sir, I'm a bomb pie. I'm a bomb pie. I'm a bomb pie. I'm a bomb pie. has visited you. I declare your tears are over. The struggle is over. I speak as God's heaven with grace on my life. The struggle is over. The contention is over. Hey! I release your anointing over your life, whatever you are. I command every sweat, every struggle, every contention. Let it come to an end. You don't understand. It is not easy. Don't laugh at all. You cannot tell. You see, when I was praying for her, he came, she came close to suicide. But for God. Mm. 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 I'm closing. I'm closing small, small. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, remember them. In Jesus' name. Sound mind and retentive memory. Amen. Separate you from the contamination. Amen. I was praying for the children. I saw as I lay hands on them. You see, when we lay hands on the children, you may sit there and think nothing is happening. I saw birds flying out of them. Mm. Some of them, the Lord told me, this is a spirit of rebellion and disobedience. Just coming out of them. Mm. Oh, mommy. As I touch the phone, may the Lord touch the children. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Obedient. The spirit of obedient. They will not be contaminated. Greatness. Blessings and promotion. Lord, settle this family and favor them. On your way back to wherever you are coming from, seven days from now, Jesus. God will give this family a major testimony. Amen. How God is going to do it, I don't know. Hallelujah. You got him here? Eh? I don't know, there was a wedding, my spirit is lifted. Uh, this is the boy. It's lifted. But all I can say is that 
he's going to be very great. Amen. Yeah, there was other word. I just, I just, I don't know what it is, but that's what it is. Hallelujah. Thank you. Blessings. It's okay. I'm, I'm ministering to you people too much. So it's okay. You constipate. Spiritual constipation. It's okay. The oil is too much. This woman, God set you and God rest you. Where is your father? Where is he? When was the last time you saw him? Oh, okay. Father, bless all the family and keep them. Say. Will you preach? I see. Will you preach? Yes. Father, put it on him. That is only thing. Chairman, you are going to be very great. Eh? Can you be a president? Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. If we're Ghana, can the way you reply this one, the next day Kufa do wake up for you to go and sit in this room. You sit down and say maybe. Can you become a president? Yes. That is how you have to talk. Teach them to talk faith. He's standing in the center of anointing. This boy will be very great. Who is the father? Who is the mother and who is the father? You know the mom, where is he? Where is your dad? He's awake. Oh Lord Jesus. Mommy, your womb has birthed a great man. You see, all these great men, when their parents were carrying them, they didn't know what they were carrying. Their mothers, they didn't know. Even so, there are people who don't know the children that these children have laid hands on them. Some of you don't know the reason why I lay hands on them. This lane of hands will want to carry them to their destiny. I have laid hands on a future president. I have laid hands on, on, on what do we call it? What do we call it? Um, a mayor of Britain. Yeah. I've laid hands. Oh, yes. The way you are clapping shows you don't believe, but I've done it. Go and check the time Samuel died. When he was begging God to continue with Saul, when he was going to Jesse's house to anoint David, did he know who he was anointing? Maybe Samuel was confused. This shepherd boy, how can you go and pick this boy? He didn't know who he was anointing. These children that walk in front of you, you have no idea. It is one of them that will change the story of people living in this country. Amen. In that time. Amen. Amen. As of war unto us. Mm. When attack come in the palace and we don't have an Esther day. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So this one, they will become God's secret weapon. Yeah. Yeah. That will use. Yeah. Secret weapon. What would have happened to the spiritual Jews if Esther was not there? There must be a voice at the place hey. that speaks on behalf of the people there. Okay. I, because his father is not here, then you must take the mantle. Huh? Do you have anointing oil? In Ghana, everybody has oil in their back. People don't believe in mantle, so it doesn't work. Your demons are more complicated than our own. Hallelujah. Does his father come to church here? So both of you come to church so you understand. The next seven days, every time this boy is asleep, one of you should go to the bed and anoint him for seven days. From tomorrow up to the next Sunday, anoint him. Either before you go to sleep or while he's asleep, do it. Don't break one day, do it. It will be a covenant between you and God for the establishment. Nothing will change him. Amen. She will not divert to the left or right. She will stay in the center of the will of God. Now, the seventh anointing is an anointing for the spirit of the fear of God. So, an anointing will enter him when you anoint him for the seventh time. And that is the spirit of the fear of God. That will lead him to wisdom. And you can't get wisdom from school. Knowledge is acquired. Wisdom is from God. How do I know that? The God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, will give unto us the spirit of wisdom. If it's a spirit, then university can give it to you. So on the seventh anointing, a spirit of wisdom will come upon it. Amen. But the spirit of wisdom will not come direct. The first anointing will be the fear of God. 
that will lead him to wisdom. This boy will make the world know you one day. Chama, go and sit down. He's here. You, when we're at this age, if they prophesy over you, can you are not wearing glasses? Do, do you know that some of us we never had this opportunity? Yeah. That is why I know that. Bless God for our stance, right? Your children will not fight your battles. They will walk in the corridors of power. Walk in favor. Amen. <laughs> Christian was coming, the little boy, the Lord told me, he will carry your mantle, but he will carry it in triple portion. Because he will need that to face Leviathan in his time. Yes. That is why the little boy loves you like that. He has seen the connection. He's already tapping into it. Yesterday I was observing him jumping around and said, this boy, he will be aggressive in the spirit. He will carry his grandfather's hand. You can't do this and God will not remember generations after you. It is impossible. He's too faithful to fail. Lift up your right hand. Put it on your belly. Everything that has come out of your womb and your loins and the one that is here to come, may they become great and walk in the corridors of power. Lord, I release a prophetic word in the atmosphere. Thank you, Jesus. Prophesy over your womb. The ones that has come and the one that is here to come. Hold your hand in your womb and speak that the seed out of my loins will be great. Sound mind and retentive moment. There are wombs here that carry future presidents. Jesus. Oh. Holy Ghost. Jesus. If you push me, how do I minister? You hit me like this twice, I'm falling down. It's you that I see. Lift up your voice and pray. Kadusa to Hey, Yakuna Maya. Let you go. Yes, let it go. Thank you, Jesus. It's you that I see. The seed of the righteous shall be mighty. Ah, there is power in your name. Yes. Miracles happen in your name. As we lift the voice of praise, release our word. It's you God who bless the fruit of the man of God. It's you Jesus. that I see. There is power yes. in your name. Pacas there is power hey. in your name. Jesus. Miracles happen. Miracles happen hey. in your name. Yes, 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 yes. As we lift the voice in. As we lift the voice and say, hey, it's you that I see, it's you that I see, there is power in your name, there is power in your name, miracles happen in your name, miracles happen in your name. As we lift the voice and praise, as we lift it's you that I see. It's you that I see. You are bigger, bigger than the biggest. You are stronger, stronger than the strongest. You are wiser, higher than the highest. You are greater, greater than the highest. Yes, 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 yes. Bigger than the biggest, you are stronger, stronger than the strongest. You are higher, higher than the highest. Lord, you are bigger, you are bigger, bigger than the biggest. You are stronger, stronger than the strongest. You are higher, higher than the highest. You are stronger, stronger than the strongest. You are higher, higher than the highest. You are greater, you are bigger.
From somewhere, all the potatoes come to me. I want to pray for you. You are God of my followers, the old all nighters, those who are from Porter's God of Bless. Mighty God. I bless your every one of you. As your father lay hands on you, you will never be the same. Never, 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 never be the same. I join my faith with the fire of this house. I pray for all of you, yes. Thank you, Jesus. to just tell the same. to just Yes, everyone. I don't have time to prophesy all of you. That's what you your desire. Your expectation will not be cut off. You are all of you. Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. If this is your power, if this is your glory, if this is your presence, let it be. If this is your power, this is your power. If this is your glory, you are blessed. If this is your presence, you are blessed. All the portraits. Oh, I remember if you. This is your Father, power. Bless if this is your power. If this Thank is you. your glory. This is your glory. If this is your presence. Oh, God, this is your presence. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. So open, say, open. Oh, yes. Don't forget. Oh, In the past. And cause your rain to fall. Open, say. God will take every pain from your heart. Yes, he speaking English. And God will give you a breakthrough. And the Lord will comfort you. And the Lord will honor you. You will grow old. And you will be very healthy. And the favor of the Lord will be upon you. And you will rejoice with your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Is your brother? You are going to preach the gospel. God will anoint you. I love him two minutes. I love this one, man, two minutes. You are going to, you are going to send a lot of revival to Congo. You are going to preach the gospel. Stay tuned with God. Stay tuned. Father, I command the spirit. Let me deal with the spirit first. I want to deal with it. That is why God brought it here. I speak that everything you ate, everything that came, I command it to leave you now. Come out of her now in the name of Jesus. I speak by the authority of the blood. Lose her, let her go. Now, out, out. In the name of Jesus. At the count of three, one, come out. Two, out. Three, come out. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
I command you by the blood of Jesus. You have no right to stay in this body. Yes. Let that asthmatic, let that ulcer, let it come out of your body now. I lose you from that infirmity. And I command the yoke to be destroyed. Yes. The final one, come out. Yes. Out. She's free. She's free. We are going to preach the gospel. Stay to you. Stay close with God. A lot of prayer. A lot of fasting. And stay pure. And marry early. Marry early. You have to. If you don't marry early, you get into a lot of trouble. Marry early. I'm closing the meeting. I want to come down and close. I don't want to go into details and give you any prophecy. But marry early. Yes, your mother has told you. You told him, eh? I'm confirming it. I've never seen your mother in my life. I saw a lot of women hanging around you. I just pursue you, they'll be chasing you. Marry early and save your life because of your ministry so that you'll not be trapped in the name of Jesus. You have a great ministry. Those East Africa day in your time, you will stir the place. East Africa, Congo, Zimbabwe, those areas. God will give it to you. You will live here as a missionary. You will take a team. This will be the base and you will move it over there. You will plant Bible schools. You will support village pastors. Pastors in remote areas. You will just gather them, empower them, support them to do the work. And God will give you the resources. By the time you are 40 years, if Jesus has still not come, the word will hear your name. Stay tuned and stay pure. Because God is going to send you to French-speaking countries. And it's full of immorality. So you need a backing. Marry early. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. None of the word will fall on the ground. You will bring joy to this woman. You are blessed. Thank you, Lord. Wow. I said I will bless you. Oh, yes. Did I say something like that? Yes. Yes. God just remind me. Mom, you know there are some things you have told God that you don't want it to happen to them. There are certain experiences. I ministered to her 10, three days ago and the Lord spoke to me. I know the voice of God. That you don't want them to fight the kind of things you have been through. Give me your, give me your hand. And that the witness of God's people in this altar, lay your hands on your daughter. And I declare by this action, in the witness of the angels here and the people of God, that this young lady will not fight the battles and the things you have been through. Today, nothing from you in the negative bloodline will travel through her. By this laying out of hands, let the blood be a demarcation line. Your roof will be her platform. And she will walk in greatness. She will not struggle in marriage. She will not struggle. She will not go through the pains you have been through. You will see the joy and you will carry your grandchildren with joy. You will visit her in a happy matrimonial home. And you will remember the prayer today. Today, by this prophetic action, it is done. And your joy has come to fruition. The Lord honor this family. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord a clap of faith. If you are not jealous. Father, bless these ones. Bless these ones. Now, these are the people who follow us all over the world. Some of them come to Portis. Some of them used to be all night members. And wherever do we go? So when we go to the US, they gather. I think they are more there. Hallelujah. And I think some of them are coming from outside London. They were calling me from the office in Ghana. They said, Daddy, the Porterians are coming, so pray for all of them. Yes, come. Keep coming. Every one of you, you will never go back, they say. Today, the anointing you have watched, you have come in contact, I have laid hands on you. I speak, eh, you are not married. Have you disappointed somebody? Or he disappointed you? Were you going out with the lady? What happened? You can't remember? Really? When I lay hands on you, I remembered. You forget about it? You will forget. Father, I pray that every negative word spoken will not have effect on you. There was one time that after I was watching you, you said something about the grace. I was sowing the seed. The grace, five, number five. I see. God laid on my heart to give me the grace. That's what I had So that's why you came? Yeah, that's why I came. Okay, after church, come and see me. But the important thing is that. I hope you, the girl, when I lay hands on you, I saw something. You, you don't remember how you, you don't remember what happened. 
you just something just happened and it has happened and it happened and it has finished happening in Jesus' name. Who can stand against the Lord? Blessed be the Lord. No one can. No, that's why TBC will be on Sunday. I want to know these people. Some of them are coming from very far. Because today they were telling me. So let me just bless them. Some of them are booked a hotel around and they are staying. No one. Where do you live? No one. I was up for China. I mean, I mean, I mean, oh, I know in the uh, UK is Landy. Landy. And there's another one. Uh, something, Manchester. Where do you come from? Barnwood. Where do you mean, Tida? Ah. I know, where is it? Outside London. How far is it from here? Oh, we drove about one hour for the five minutes. Almost two hours. Yeah. Oh, there's no far. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Who drove about three hours? Where are you from? Birmingham. That's four hours. And you came here. Come for double portion. Come. No one I go to you as they come from all the states. Some come from Alaska. By the grace of God, we are going to do Birmingham. Where I know where. The next time I come, send me to outside London. But you have some churches. I want to see our outside London. I've been to Newcastle before. You know, I want to preach for Apostle Ken God. Eh? We went there, shim, 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 and then we came. They took me at night and bring me at night. So I didn't see anything. <laughs> so you came all the way from Birmingham. Wow. Did you drive? By the train. How many? How long? Three hours. You will never be the same. Amen. The God of this house and Porter City will remember you. You are not clapping. You come from Croydon. You are not clapping. You will, what do you want God to do for you? You want to get married. By the time I come again, any time from now, you will come here with your husband. Yeah. I put you in a happy matrimonial home. The God of this commission give it to you. Don't take it for granted. When you see people travel like that and come, they, 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 they have faith in God. Mommy, God will change your story. Trust me. Believe me. And you come from where? No, no, I can't even pronounce it. Who and you are from where? Stand against the Lord. Bless it. No Thank you, Jesus. Can. Lord, remember every one of them. They would never be no the same. And they are Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Come. Blessed be the Lord. Who can stand against the King? Jesus. No one can. to be charged by the grace of God over your life in Jesus name. Who can stand against the king? Yeah. Who can stand against the king? No one wow. can. No one I know you so No one will. Why do I know you? Made in power. Wow. And that's how you are not married. So where did this guy grab you? I prophesy about you. Twelve years ago, what did I say? He was in the army. Can I prophesy? And God has protected your life. God bless. When I pray for you, after I put this oil on you, everything will never be the same again. Everything, I know. Yes, he will never be the same again. Yes, the young church will grow to be a star. That's why God took you out of the army. You cannot be an army and be and, and respond to the call of God. A strong, mighty call. You have struggled to respond to this call. But the important thing is that God says, I should tell you, you have obeyed him. And just look at what find time and come to Portis and come and lie at the place somebody came there took the sun and went to some place some of the testimonies we hear there is amazing I don't even want to say something will change and God give you a woman this is your seer hmm? you are a preacher but this is your prophetess she sees a seeing eye God will open her eyes you will see through the spiritual 
and obey her in Jesus' name. Go, sit down. You are taking too much anointing. Father, I bless you. Every one of them. The way you remove your wig, I know you were potere. Yes, I know. At least I can know that. Oh, if you want to pull your wig, I know that you were potere. Father, remember, where are you coming from? Pondestan. Pondest end. And also where? Oh, wow. How many? Two hours. Ponders what? Ukuni. <laughs> I see. Thank you, Jesus. Father, command God bless. Every one of you, you will never be the same. All the Potterian family, bless them. I know after here, you are going to also stay with the all night. The all night, they are having all night in Ghana. Our Father, God bless you. All of Where are you from, India? As of one second, where are you from? I see you are in London. Uh -huh. You look like somebody from London. You don't look like somebody from Pondestan because you didn't drive. Father, bless them, protect them. Every one of you have a testimony. There is an anointing in this house you have come to contact. This is a great house, one of the greatest houses in Britain here. And I trust God with you that you will never be the same. Those of you from Trinity, me and you, we Bohaya. Don't worry. We will do a special. Uh, no, I could do you are not. Hallelujah. If, if you are so crowd, we are fire you. In Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for your favor Amen. over the life of everyone. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. There is a guy who said that God said you should come and give some. Is it, do you say 50 or 500? What, what is the guy? You? Okay, you wanted to bring it to me? No, go and put it at the altar. Let me pray for you. Bring it. You don't need it. You just need it to come to this altar. Hallelujah. Father. I pray that your finances will never be the same. Listen, you have to marry and save yourself. Hmm? Marry. You go to the gym. Eh? <laughs> marry, marry. Eh? My son, marry. marry. I saw something. You see, I have reversed a lot of things. Some of the women, eh, when there's a, a problem and you people break up with them, the pain out of them make them speak a lot of negative things about your life. It's called soulish prayer. They just say to me, I lay hands on you and I pick the thing back. It just came to me that the girl you broke out with I don't know what it is but I neutralize everything that has been said. I declare that it will have no effect over your life. In Jesus name. Amen. Thank you Lord. Let people come and put such an offering. Some some 100 pounds, some 50 pounds some 200 pounds. Just take it and come let me just touch you. Let me just release I just want to release this anointing. And if you took the envelope, you didn't bring it bring it later. If you have it in your pocket, just take it and bring it in the altar. Let me just touch you. Let me just bless you. I'm just taking the offering. Put it there. Father, bless them. Favor them. Financial blessing. We release financial. They don't even need an envelope. Let them come. Let them come. Just leave them. It's not really necessary. I mean, if they put it fine, I just want to bless them. Take some 100 pounds. Take some 200 pounds. Take some 50 pounds. Put it there. Lord, bless them. In Jesus' name. Let there be a financial release. We declare in the name of Jesus. Bless you, sir. Put it down. Lord, favor your son in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. I pray. They cancel every debt on your leg. Where are you coming from? Oh, really? It shall be well with you. Everything will work together for your good. I bless them. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, put it at the altar. And the Lord bless you. Father, favor them. Thank you, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. Blessed be. Put it there. Yes. I declare that anybody with any kind of immigration problems, documents, Lord, I saw you do it somewhere else. Between now and December, let it work together for their good. We declare that their documentation will be given to them. Supernatural in Jesus' name. I prayed this prayer because I didn't want to call you. I didn't want to call you. Thank you. Put it there. Put it there. Put it at the altar. Take some 100 pounds, some 50 pounds, some something. Bless God. Bless you, sir. It's good to see you. Take it. Come and bless God. Blessed be the name of the king. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 
Lord. Oh, yes, sing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I pray for a financial release of all of you. I know you somewhere. Is it here? Are you a doctor? You look like a, a, a doctor friend. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. I declare that from today, the Lord mighty God set you free and release His grace over your life. May you walk in health in Jesus' name. Extra time. Bless yourself. The righteous rally. Where is that? Canterbury. Canterbury. I thought you said Canterbury. Canterbury. What is that? Is it far? One hour. One hour. Oh, that is not far. Because where I come from, right, is 20 minutes or 30. So, but God bless you for coming. The Lord favor you. How many children do you have? One. One. You need more. Yes. Where's your wife? She's in the home. He's at home. Yeah. Take the anointing. Go and have more children. <laughs> Between now and two years, the Lord give you three children more. In Jesus' name. So you have twins and one more. Hallelujah. Go and have children. You people here, you are afraid to have children. I release children into the atmosphere. Even those who have ended childbirth, may they start giving birth again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord. A strong tower. A strong tower. The righteous one in you. The righteous one in Your husband, Chairman, come. This one is divine authority. Osobo, Jai, Namia, you are doomed. After this, let her rest. <laughs> right. Let her rest. This number here, five. Five. Five is a number of grace. Chad, come with money and bring a lot of money. There are some children, once they come, they come with money. I'm telling you. Every of the children know what they bring. It is Joseph that let Jacob exit Laban's house. When Joseph was born, he exited Laban's slavery. This child will let to exit financial struggle. But after that, animal life can grow. Uh, and then rest. So, uh, but life, we take the power in the name of Jesus. The righteous running, and they are saying, they are saying, the name of the Lord. Yes, yes, 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 the name of the
exalted, O oh Lord, be exalted, O oh Lord, my Elzadah in the heart. The spirit is active, but this body has been preaching for 21 days. No stop. Even if I bring the guest preachers, either they will preach evening and I preach morning. So it's a lot. Hallelujah. Amen. This sacrifice, I only do it for my father, not a page. I won't do it for anybody. Amen. I'm telling you. When I told Reverend Sudan I'm traveling, he was shocked. He said, Are you sure? I said, Yes, I'm going. I'm going to preach. He said, Wow. Hallelujah. And so, just get aggressive in the spirit and take what you have to take. It's not going to go normal. We bring you here. We mention your name. Your grandmother's name is Eha. I, I was giving a word of knowledge. Somebody. I mentioned somebody's name. The person said, I said that if it's really a prophet, you also mention my mother's name. I mentioned his mother's name. I don't know what was going on. Then the person said, Lord, this one, let me mention my grandmother's name first. Then the Lord came by the Holy Ghost and said, and I told the guy. And I said that. What does your grandfather's name have to do with the breakthrough you are looking for? You see the way people sit there with the, with the kind of mindset that they have. There are some people who drive this ministry and they help a lot of things here. Eh? That is Sunday, I'll give you permission and pray for them. There are some people God is going to, like the man I raised, some people God is going to raise, others will join them and they are going to support this way. I said it on that day. Millionaires, there are about 10 of them. God is going to bless them. They will take care of everything. They will take care of the maintenance of this place. Every cost that is there, they will take care of it. And they will come back as a group and take care. And that is the contact God is going to use to bless them. Yeah. We have some people in our ministry. Sometimes we don't just raise money. If there's anything, we just call them five. I say, well, this man has come to preach. Oh. They put some money together. They put it together. Sometimes 30, 40 thousand dollars. They send him off. Nobody talks about it. You need those people around. They just do things like that. Bam. They just take it. We have them. Hallelujah. Yeah. And God is going to raise some of them. And look at somebody say, you, I sense you are one of them. Tell the person, I sense you are one of them. No, don't push it on anybody. Pray that you'll be one of those people. Pray, pray. Because if you become one of them, you are selected for a divine blessing. Don't point anybody. See yourself as one of them. Kingdom investors. Everybody take an offering. Oh, say, oh. Take an offering and come to the altar. Joy Just take your offering and come. come. Bishop, God bless you for coming. Oh, take your offering and come and put it here. My friend Bishop Ajama Bedou. So you are his Gina brother. You come after him. Direct. Direct. Dalet. <laughs> Important, we don't say direct, we say Dalet. We don't say miracle, we say melakas. I, I was looking at you. 
mantles. This is my sweat. You will never sweat. Carry this mantle. And let grace bounce out. Whatever your brother couldn't finish, may you finish it. Because I'm be upon you. Once I'm you sing that song you were singing. I stand amazed in your presence. There is nothing you cannot do. Take your friend and come to the altar. Take your friend and come. I stand amazed in your presence. There is joy, peace, and hope. I stand amazed in your presence. There is nothing you cannot do. I stand amazed in your presence. Yes, I'm waiting for you. Hurry up. All those who are wherever you are, overflow, whatever, bring your offer. I'm not going to take any of it. There's no one like you, Jesus. Please, can you stand a little bit and dance for just two minutes? Clap your hands, shake yourself. You are too gentle. There's no one like you, Auntie Jenny. Jesus, would you look for me? There's no one. Like you. You're too sad. You're too Stand amazed in your presence. There is joy, peace, and hope. I stand amazed, stand amazed, stand amazed in your presence. There is nothing you cannot do, yeah. There is nothing you cannot do. Stand amazed in your presence. See the one from Hawaii. Amazed in your presence. There is joy, peace, and hope. Love oh, okay. So you know me from where, Hawaii? Oh boy, that is about 20 years ago when I came to preach for uh, House of Faith. You were there, Pastor uh, Nana. Really, how long have you been here? 10 years. You've been looking for me, you have found me. Let the mantles of God be on your head. Let God favor you. Are you, are you doing ministry? These are your books. Wow, they are for me. Thank you very much. I'm struggling to write some. Hallelujah. They didn't bring enough of my new books at all. I did. I didn't cry. I pray that nothing will be a struggle again. You see, that it's an anointing that makes ministry easy but fruitful. Amen. You don't struggle. You don't sweat. I have never had a sleepless night on any project we are doing there. I pray for that grace over your life. Amen. Let God honor you. From today, your ministry will never be the same. Amen. Let this man to be charged for fruitfulness. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes. Bring them, bring them. Come just pray. Where are you from? Where do you live? Where? Beckenham. I'm learning names. Huh? Beckenham. How far? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Oh, this one, they say you don't need prayer. <laughs> Father, what do you want God to do for you? I know. Stand here. Stand here. Stand here. Stand. Do you believe? Do you believe that when I pray for you to happen? Do you believe it? The way you are joining your hands. I want you to do something. Prophetic action. When you go, find some money, go and buy a baby's coat and put it in your room. Do you know baby's coat? How do you call it in British uh, accent? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Okay, Ghana. How do you say, uh, 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 when you see... Do you call it miracles? When you see like a cripple walk, is what? Miracle. We don't call it like that. We call it miracles. Say miracles. Miracles. 
Melakels. Melakels. It's spelled M A L M A L E K. M A L E K L E S. Melakels. Jesus is Lord. Father, I pray for. But you need money. Give me your hand. God give you money. Has one of you married before? You? Yes. Because I saw it. And you have two children. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. I don't need them. Don't, don't call them. God doesn't call them. I pray for you. That God will settle everything about you. And give you the fruit. And bless you. The next time I see you, have a testimony. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up your right hand. It's a blessing, isn't it? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. We have not finished the program. So keep coming. Amen. Today we'll rest tomorrow. Huh? We need some Chinese. So this evening is a Chinese session. It's called Mama's Work Ministry. After preaching like that. We fast. I came to Britain to come and eat, not to fast. Yes, I came here to eat. Hallelujah. Because when we get back, fasting continues. Amen. But I pray for you. Believe the word out of my mouth. Whatever be your expectation, from now to the next seven days, the Lord will give you a testimony. Sometimes we speak it on the, on, 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 on the airwaves and people catch it. We have more testimonies about people watching us or even those who sit in portals. Many of them, and you will not be you will not be left out. All the Porterian family, every one of you will have a testimony. Amen. One day I will talk to Daddy, we'll come and do a prophetic invasion here. Amen. Now the way you are shouting me to come on. We will, we will book all the hotels around here. Glory. And they will gather you and we will ask that they will use this on the total. Glory. And we will do an invasion, British invasion. Glory and I give you a special Lord invitation, all of you. Listen. Down. Special invitation for US invasion. Last year, some of you came. And this is how you have to come. You know, the anointing there too is something else. Because that one is morning, afternoon, evening. Morning, afternoon, evening. Morning, afternoon, evening. So, just book your place. It's not too far. From here to US, you can even walk. When you start by now. By the time we start the invasion, well, the first week in May, from 1st to 5th May, it's a very powerful meeting. It's a five days of fasting. We'll do pray fasting. That is the first three days dry. That one, not everybody. And then Wednesday, we start up to Sunday. Morning, afternoon, evening. Morning, afternoon, evening. So you do that. But it's another one in Ghana. I think next week, eh, next two weeks, five days of camping. So buy ticket. As for Ghana, you can walk. By US, you can walk. Ghana, if you want to walk, start today. By the time we get there, you're already there. But we invite you everywhere. That is the key. That is where we will fly. In. But one day I will talk to that. We will do a prophetic invasion here. So that all those from Europe, all of them, because there's a lot of pressure for us to do an invasion. Those in Italy, Germany, Sweden, all those who come to Portes, we will gather all of you, put you in hotels, and they will do the program here. And they will use this place. It will be very powerful. Hallelujah. Uh, so pray for me that we do it. Amen. From US invasion. I think I'm going for an Australian invasion. And then from there. Uh, hallelujah. Yeah. Okay. And then from there, um, we'll see. We'll, we'll think about it. We'll check the timetable and see. But how many of you want us to do Europe invasion and we'll do it here? It will be in Croydon. It will be very powerful. We'll gather all of them. And here we'll get men of God to a Dr. David is here. Daddy is here. We'll get a lot of men of God. I will not even be tired. Amen. And it will be very, very powerful. Our invasions are very powerful. The five days camping and fastings, it's, it can be. Somebody's hell, Have you seen it? Titi, titi, titi. Go and add, give it to your wife to add it to his wig. You see my hand here? Have you seen this? The glow. Have you seen all this, Mark? It's a woman, they are nails. So. Uh, this one cut me two weeks ago. I was doing anointing service, so cut me in a, I started bleeding. Oh, mommy, some of their nails, it's simple. It can just, when you hold you. So when I'm doing deliverance, I do it with a lot of my guys. They make sure that I don't get cut. So we'll plan it. We'll do it. Between now, at least between now and next year, we'll plan and see whether we'll do some invasion here. 
it will find once we get a hotel around that can take all of us they will do it there because that way you can't stay at your home you be in the hotel and then you leave there come fast come fast we have to get something around and they will say i will discuss it with that it will be fine I will do a five days campaign it's very powerful morning afternoon evening when we finish your destiny will change Bam. like the way we do it at Portis. it will be a blessing amen where are my sri lankan friends where are you please come 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 because you have to take me to Sri Lanka, let me pray for you. All of you, come. <laughs> Father, bless him. Glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Lord will give glory. you a testimony. You are not a Sri Lankan. Let me pray for the Sri Lankan. Glory of the Lord wow. is coming now. Yeah. The glory. I love you. Glory. You like our ministry? Oh, yeah. oh glory God bless you. of the Lord is coming wow. now. Blessings. It's coming now. To Basi. To Sri Lanka. To go. When can I when am I going to Sri Lanka? When? When are you taking me? So we are going. Hmm? No preaching, vacation. Hmm? You have to bring a lot of your family into the church. Your friends, your sisters, your brothers, so that there will be revival in your country. God is good. Because of you, God will send revival to your country. It's going to be a blessing. So pull them and bring them to the church. I saw you are very connected. You have a lot of friends. Pull them to the ministry. Bring them. There's something about you people. Once you tell them, they will come and you feel at home. Father, I ask for your blessing. I pray for preservation. I pray that you keep them. Use them as a contact to bring many souls. Let them be contact to win the Sri Lankans. You know, you know what the Lord told me right now when I was praying for you? The Lord said, as the people come, a time is coming, like what you were lost in, that there's going to be a Sri Lankan service in this church. So it will be full of you. And it's going to be very powerful. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord use you to bring many of your people into the ministry. And bless you. Thank you, Lord. There is a strong anointing coming upon this man. It's like a teaching anointing. It's coming very strong upon him. God, use him mightily. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I pray for you. Holy Spirit. Jesus. For the Lord Jesus. Bless you. Thank you. Meet them at the point of their need. Let the expectation be cut. Mom. I pray for divine health. I pray for divine health. I rebuke every infirmity. Pray that as your years, so shall your strength be. Let the Almighty God bring you health. In Jesus' name. Please put your hands together for Jesus. God bless you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hallelujah. We love you. God bless you. Amen. We love you. Well, I want to salute every one of you. Hallelujah. I want to bless you. I, I want to. Thank you for coming. Amen. I know that a lot of you. What do you want? Oh, you want me to turn the handkerchief? Yes. According to your feet. Let it be done. Hallelujah. Now, I, I want you to continue coming Sunday if you don't have anywhere you can. Those of you who have come from outside and who have book hotels, just stay with us. And then Sunday, uh, we can have uh, a very powerful service and then you go. But you are not going back the same. I know you were expecting us to do an all night, isn't it? But the thing is that the body, the body, the body, you know, those of you who follow me, you see the way I preach for 21 days, Sunday finish, jump into a plane and come and say, it's, it, it is taking the grace of God to us to stand in our feet. It's not an easy thing. Morning, afternoon, evening for 21 days. I finished Sunday, bam. And then I came here. Hallelujah. So, uh, we can do an all night. Amen. The Lord bless you. And the Lord favor you. Please put your hands together. Let's welcome daddy to come. And take the microphone from my hand. That Lord, I and bless you. We salute all the men of God. Lord, I love to Sorry. sing your praises. Come on, I want everybody to be on their feet. And for the next two minutes, I just want us to put our hands together for what God has done today. Come on, put your hands together. Just give it to the Lord. And with a shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
You see, as the man of God preached, all the words that were coming out of his mouth were prophetic. And for many of you, that was a word for you in the coming years. And for every utterance, prayer, and prophecy today, there shall be a performance. Amen. Amen. And I stand in the gap and I declare in the name of Jesus that may there be a definite performance of every prophetic word that has come out of the man of God today. And in the next 21 days, may you hold your miracle. Hallelujah. God willing, on Sunday, the man of God will be speaking here. And also in the account service at Tutonlo Road. Amen. Many of you had wanted a Sunday evening service, but the, we have to give the man of God some rest. Okay? So, Sunday morning, 10 a.m. to half 12, and then 1 p.m. to about 4 p.m. at the account service in Tutonlo Road. Kwame, come and make this announcement. Thank you so much, Daddy. And so, um, standing together as rally, it's a, a rally being called together to uh, for the churches to stand together to pray um, for uh, against the violent crime that is happening in our community and our young people that are being slain left, right, and center. As Prophet said, they are the hope for our future. And so, uh, tomorrow at Trafalgar Square. Um, the Archbishop of Canterbury, the Mayor of London, where other key leaders in the, in the city are gathering together to pray. So please, uh, let's make that a, 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 di a date in our diary. Let's come together. Let's stand against this principality and let's get this thing, this business dealt with and preserve the future of our city and our country. God bless you. Amen. It's good to have Bishop Usu and Sam with us. And what an honor to have Pastor Musa and all the TBC pastors with us. Lift your hands to the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift the beauty of his countenance over you and grant you peace. I declare in the name of Jesus that you will be whole a tangible miracle. Amen. And now may the grace, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship be with us all. Amen. And sure.